Welcome to James Green's English Classroom. I'm James. I'm an English teacher in New York in the United States, and I host a class, an open conversation in Zoom every day at 13 UTC, Universal Coordinated Time, 9 a.m. in New York. And it's a mixed level class, beginners, intermediates, advanced, teachers and native speakers together, joining on what we have in common, playing to integrate our differences for the purpose of learning English. It's free and it lasts for at least one hour, sometimes longer, like today. Our schedule is as follows. I'm teaching for one hour. Yeah. Just going to mute you while I'm introducing the class. Uh, I'm teaching for one hour, and then after me, Rama from Uganda is teaching for an hour. Then Mokhtar from Tunisia is teaching for one hour, and then we have a board of directors meeting for 90 minutes. So that's one, two, three, four and a half hours together doing different activities, and um, stay as long as you like. Leave whenever you like. Participate in whatever you like. The uh, live stream is going to YouTube, to my YouTube channel, James Green's English Classroom. So it is a public conversation. And um, the links for the YouTube, Facebook, and other social media groups are going to be shared in the chat. So let's begin to join on what we have in common and play to integrate our differences. Um, the floor is open if you'd like to speak, say your name, where you're from, speak to the whole group. Then when you're done, say anyone else. And if you're going after, summarize what you heard somebody else say. The person before you, su summarize what you heard them say, talk to them, check with them if you're right. And then, separate from them, join, uh, check with yourself, speak to the whole group and see if you have a join. If not, ask to bring in a difference. That's how we work. Also called functional subgrouping. Somebody's talking, Rona, Rona, hi Rona. R oh, Rona, Rahimi, Hello? Hi James, how are you? Can you hear my voice? Oh, I can hear a lot of things coming from you. And Muhammad, I'm muting you, it's all all static, all static. Okay. Oh, no, all static, Mohammed Iqbal Bajwa. Hold on. Rona Rahimi, go ahead. Hi, Where good morning. Yeah. No, hold on, Oscar. Rona Rahimi is talking. One person at a time, please. Rona Rahimi, where are you from? And if you could uh, maybe just, uh, I hear some things banging around where you are. Just please be careful about the sound quality. Okay, thanks. Uh, thank you, James. I am good. I appreciate you joining these groups. My Slow down. I'm sorry. Yeah. What? Where are you from? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Great. My name is Dona. I am from Afghanistan. Can you hear my voice? Yes, I can hear you clearly now. Go ahead. Uh, what should I talk about? I ah, know. great. So you don't know what to talk about? That's a common question. Yes. I was just saying what you should talk about. What you should talk about is whatever you like. You're starting. You're starting. Yes. And the person who starts, starts with the topic. Because I don't choose topics. I ask you to choose the topic. So if you're starting, it means you have something to say. Yes. Well, uh, let's see. So hold on. Hold on. You asked me a question. Let me finish answering. So you'd like to yes. know what to say. You don't know, but you'd like to talk. That's fine. So I introduce the group. You're introduce you're introducing yourself. This is the first time you're here, isn't is that right? Yes, yes. Yeah, great. So uh, it'll take a little bit of work to get into the group because you know uh, this group has some momentum. We've been working together every day for maybe five months. So there's some group work uh, knowledge. There's some history in the group, and if you come in which is great, it takes courage to come in as a new person into a new group and say, hello, I'm here. Now, tell me what to do. 
that's really, I'm honored, right? When, when somebody comes here and says, hi, yeah. nice to meet you, tell me what to do. It's really an honor. It's really a privilege to have people come here and ask me to do that. And I want to live up to that. I'm, I want to meet you in that request. And here's what I'm gonna tell you what to do. Just, just check with yourself. Why are you here? Why are you here? What do you want to say? Whatever that is inside of you, just speak it to everybody. I should start? Huh? I should start? I Start? Yeah, start. Great idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Bruna. I am from Afghanistan. Uh, sorry for repeating these words. I am here for learning English and uh, enhance, uh, enhance my knowledge and uh, um, empower, improve my English speaking. Great. Good job. You're here from Afghanistan. You're here to improve your English speaking ability and English language knowledge. Yes. Now, great. If you're done, say I'm done or say anyone else. I'm done, anyone else. Can... Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Hi, good morning. Now, hold on, Oscar. Hold on, just one more, one, one more step, Oscar. Rona. Yes. That, that tells everybody here it's they can jump in and summarize you. So Oscar is Summarize me, yes. You know, you're not, yeah, yeah. You see, you're not new anymore. You know what we're doing. Great. Go ahead, Oscar. Summarize me. Yes. Uh, hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Oscar from Bissau Guinea. Well, I'm really happy to speak around today too. I mean, today's class, but it's okay. Oscar, um, you skipped a step. Hi, again. Do you know what, do you know, are you new I here, Oscar? I missed, um, I missed two classes, you know, Oscar, before yesterday. Was, is this your first, yeah. is this your first class? No, man, you got me wrong. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. So you, you've I been here know. before. I told you, you know, I missed two class. Oscar. Classes, I mean, yes, before yesterday Oscar. and yesterday. Yeah. Oscar. So what I'd like you to do, right? If, if you've been here before, you might've heard me say this before. Before you speak, do you know what I'd like you to do? Yeah, got it. You Summarize, do? right? Oh, Summarize. yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yes, I Rona, okay. Rona will teach you. She knows about it. She will teach you. How to summarize? Just work with her. She's she's from Afghanistan. <laughs> Go ahead, work with Rona. Uh, 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 Rona, uh, hi, Rona. I, I heard you said you are from Afghanistan, and this is your first time here to join this class. You know, you, Mary, and you are so welcome. I think in the platform. Did I get you right? English parent. Rona, did I get you right? You said you did your first time to do this platform and you are really happy to be here. Is that right? Rona, Oscar's asking you if he understood you or not. It might be a little bit tough to understand Oscar, but I think he got you. So let's go with that. Go ahead, Oscar. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it as you have you understood Rona. Go ahead and now speak to the whole group. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay. Which, uh, hi everyone. Yes, good morning. Uh, here is ten you know ten p.m. right here. Well, the weather is great. Is it a rain season here in my country? I'm home relaxing and teaching with my little I mean little sister right here and living room. Yeah. That's it. And I'm so happy to be here because yesterday I missed the class because I hang in no time. The reason why I didn't come, why I didn't join, you know. Yeah, so happy. Anyone else?
Now, if you're in the Discord group, you may have seen, we did a centering exercise just about 30 minutes ago. Purpose of centering is to gather your energy for working together. And if you, if you were not in the um, Discord channel, you may have missed that, or you may have just missed it because you just arrived to Zoom. That's fine. You can just center yourself. You just gather your thinking and feeling energy, come into your member role as a member of this group. And then with that energy, you can come in to relationship with the other members in the group. Oscar, you're not in Discord, is that right? I thought yeah, I was talking right. to I'm Oscar. There. there was somebody There was somebody just sitting in Oscar's chair. I thought it was Oscar. He got up and then Oscar <laughs> no, no. sat down. It, it was not me. It was, it was not, not my you. Friend. It was an imposter. Yeah, it me. was an imposter. No, no, not me. You, you asked me if I am the Discord, right? I, I'm not there. OK. I just, I didn't notice that you left and that your friend sat down. It was, yeah. sorry. You, you asked me if, uh, if I have a Discord, right? I'm not there. Yeah. Okay. You're, You're not, not in Discord. That's fine. So you are one of the people who I'm asking to just get centered, gather your thinking and feeling energy for being here as a member of the group, which you're doing. You summarized Rana, Rona. You spoke to the group, you said anyone else, that's member behavior. Great. Hi, Ali. Hi, Ramesh. Hi, Ali. Hi, Ramesh. Hello. Hi, Munmi. Hello, Nani. Ahmed. Hi, Amans. Azita, Islam. Oh, we have two yes. Ali's in the group right now. We have Ali Shafak from Afghanistan. And who, uh, the other Ali, where are you from? Oh, three Ali's? How many Ali's are there? Uh, um, there's, there's two Ali's that say A-L-I and then Ali Shafak. Can you help me to distinguish? Ali? What's your uh, family name or what country are you from? I don't know if you can hear me. I see you walking around. One of you is off camera. And then we have Ari, which in Japanese, Hello, Mr. Yeah. There's, no, there's no difference between Ali and Ari in Japanese. If we were in speaking Japanese, we would have four Ali's. Go ahead. Okay, it is uh, Zamin Ali, Afghan national. Uh, oh, oh, you're also I have from been Afghanistan. In Indonesia. In Indonesia. Yeah, but okay, I have been Ali. In Indonesia. From... I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Murad, you're bringing issues into. You're splitting the group into the chat. You're, you're rebelling against my instructions, Murad, as 
many people in the group are doing in Discord mostly, not right now. Well, I guess right now. I, I consider the uh, keeping cameras off as a kind of rebellion too. But would you like to come out of your rebellion, Murad, and come into the group? Your mi micro rebellion. But sometimes micro rebellions lead to avalanche rebellions. Now you're, you're apologizing in the chat, which is actually continuing to split the group between the chat and the voice portion. Hello, Mr. James. How are you and how's everyone? Oh, don't give me that shit. Bring in <laughs> what you brought into your chat. Bring, yeah, yes, I said shit. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, James said shit. You know, I was Help. kidding last time. Help! <laughs> I'm, I'm open to this kind of... Murad, no Murad, cut to the chase and bring in your question. You didn't bring in, hello, how are you, into the chat. And don't bring it in here. What do you want to say to the group? Well, uh, you came with a question. We have like three Ali's in the group. And out of curiosity, I just wanted to, to ask you why Ali name is common in my world. It's not in the Arabic word, the Islamic word. So you can find Ali. This name specifically existed in, in several countries, several nations, especially in the Islamic world, because yeah. uh, the name Ali is a name for uh, an Islamic leader. And some sects in Islam, they always love you know, to call themselves or their children Ali. So this is why it can, can be found in several countries and several you know, with several people as well. So just just an idea in my head. And uh, I just wanted to, uh, to uh, you know, to describe, you know, your question. You would like to be a cultural ambassador for people who are not familiar with the Islamic world and Islamic culture and history. Uh, you know, kind of, yes, you can say. Just to explain I, Kind things. of? Yeah, just to explain things, that's yeah, you want to explain the Islamic world. You want to put the the facts into context, right? We have a fact, which is that there are three Ali's, but we might not have the contextual information to understand, and you're bringing that in. Yes, you can say that. I did say that. I can and did. How does it feel to be a cultural ambassador for the Islamic world in the group? Well, you know, to call me an ambassador, I think it's a, you know, a big thing. You know, it's just an information and I just wanted to Ooh, say. Oh, you're dismissing yourself now. You're putting down the value that you're bringing. Uh, I don't know, but, you know, the name of ambassador means that I'm dedicating my life, you know, to be, a, you know, an Islamic ambassador, which is. I think this is not my rule in my life. Nope. It's not my actual rule. It's just an information. If you say so, I don't believe you. I no, would you... like you to. I would like you to fully inhabit yourself here, and the value that you bring, which I think is great, Murad. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Murad. Can you yeah. take that in? I think you bring a lot of value to the group. I appreciate that. I didn't believe I didn't know that before. Thank I you. know you don't know that. That's why I'm telling you. Why do you think that? No, 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 no. Take it in. Rather than asking me why, which which is a way to deflect what I'm saying, take it in. Okay. Take it in. Okay. I'm taking it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And it means a lot to me. Thank you. And uh, the same, I I really value what you are doing, mm. you know, the hard work. Every day you are coming here and mm. you are doing something for free and something valuable. So I would love, you know, to see myself in a position where I have that stamina to work, to do something that I love every day with a smile in my face. Mm. So that's mm. a great thing to do. 
even though that you are saying the shit word, so it mm. doesn't change the fact. Well, you could so 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 that's a bit of a fork. So you could see what is a driving force for you meeting your goal of increasing your stamina of being here, of doing something you love with a smile on your face, or actually maybe uh, genuinely enjoying um, what you're doing. You could do that, or you could explore your reaction to me saying a naughty word. Might be different. Murad, can you yeah. tell me what I said? Uh, well, uh, you mentioned something about the bad word that I that I repeated. Like I heard from you that, and then I repeated it. Yeah. Well, um, that's what I. Let, what yeah, I didn't just say something. I let me tell you what the something is. I said you could look at what is your reaction. Mm -hmm. I I said a word, and you had maybe a reaction to the word i saw other people have a reaction i saw some i saw munmi make a big you know big surprised expression on her face other people might have a reaction too so you're you're leading the way of exploring what your reaction is well uh, if you know. want to it, you would be leaving the other part which is just being grateful or um appreciative of being of taking in a compliment, of being appreciated. Yeah, take well, you, just make the choice because that'll take you away from it. Well, uh, you can say that I'm honored that uh, you told me that I'm bringing more value to the group and that means a lot to me. And they won't, you know, um, like hide the fact, you know, or anything that could occur between us or any word that could, you know, come out it won't change the fact that i really appreciate what i'm doing so we always you know uh, I, for my life from my own experience i'm always focusing on the on the um, in the portion the, the filled portion of uh, the cup not the empty side so Murad, that, remember how you're coming in as a cultural ambassador for the islamic world yes i, I am also coming in as a cultural ambassador for new york city where we curse at each other to express our love. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. So we're both coming, we're joining on cultural am ambassadorships. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, um, I consider, you know, the differences between, you know, the concept of uh, the ambassador of the or with the speech that we are both coming with. So it won't change anything, definitely. Negative prediction. Oh my God. That's going to drive us, you know, to a different subject. So, okay, why why do you think it's a negative prediction? Why do I think it's a negative prediction? Well, you said, I, I couldn't follow you exactly. You said um, being a cultural ambassador won't change anything? I mean, you know, the, the, the context that you are coming with for being an ambassador, it won't change. Right. The, the, the fact that I appreciate what you are doing or that ah. we are both having you know, a okay. common thing. You and, uh, are, and by the way, yeah. uh, oh, sorry. go ahead, please. You're saying that you appreciate me so much that no matter what I do, even if I curse, you'll still appreciate the work that I do. Yeah, of course, definitely. You know, you are bringing something so uh, valuable. Positive prediction. Positive prediction. <laughs> As we have seen, some some people have changed their minds about me. I see somebody laughing and nodding their head vigorously. Um, some people have changed their minds about me and maybe they'll change it back. Who knows, right? We don't know what will happen. The mind, sometimes minds don't change and sometimes minds change. Um, I, I think that it's a, it's a sign of an open mind to, to change our mind sometimes. Not a bad thing. Yeah, sure. And uh, from my side, I always advise you know, the people who are coming to your uh, 
to your classes every day. You know, if they are willing to change their minds, it should be changed to the positive, you know, to, to the correct thing. Because they, they are in the right place where they can, you know, prove themselves and, you know, they can, you know, boost their English. So um, okay, let's, up, no let's, test, what let's test it out. Let's see if Murad can take some of his own advice about changing minds. Murad, I'd like you to turn on your camera. Oh, my God. Why do you want me to turn on my camera? No, no, I don't want you to ask me why. I just want you to do it. You were saying, you were saying, you, 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 you advise people here to come here with an open mind and to learn and take in and do the correct thing. Yeah. So I'm telling you, the correct thing is to turn on your camera. Would you like to do the correct thing or would you like to continue to rebel against me? Honestly, it's not about you know turning <laughs> on off the camera, but really, uh, blah, really blah 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 blah. Allow me to explain myself. Allow me, just allow me. Allow you to explain yourself. No, I don't want to hear any of your BS explanations. I just want you to do the right thing. Change your mind. Turn your camera on. Follow my instructions. Take on a member role. Let us see you and your beautiful face and your beautiful expressions, and stop this this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just stop it. Well, honestly, Mr. James, I'm not in a, in a good position or in okay. a good condition. I really. didn't think so. That mind is closed myself. shut like a clam, like an oyster shell. No, no, not like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. not in a good position. I'm not no, in a good You know, an oyster is open. like... Arr. Yes, always closed and sealed. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So really, I, I promise you tomorrow, I'm going to attend your oh. class with an open camera. I okay. promise you. Well, let's see. I won't let you down. For, for I've been waiting for five months. Know. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, this is, you know, <laughs> the final, the final uh, commitment, you know, when it comes to <laughs> opening camera. Say anyone else, Murad. Anyone else? This is Richard. Richard, would you like to open that oyster shell of a mind and follow my instructions? Turn that camera on. I know you might have internet problems sometimes. Uh, oh, no, me. you don't have internet problems. Look at how easy that was. <laughs> Bing! There it is, like a, like a genie, just like a puff of smoke <laughs> appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, mostly have internet problem not because now I speak, you said you're breaking up and i don't know <laughs> that's true you do often have internet problems but i can hear you uh clearly right now yeah that's great so whatever you're God. <laughs> whatever you're doing keep doing it yeah sure so i i need to summarize murat or i i, I just speak what do you think? Are you new here? Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Murat, you said about you want to open the camera tomorrow. You like to hide yourself. And you are not ambassador of Islam. Am I right? <clears throat> Murad, Earth to Murad, are you with us still? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Murad. See, oh, sorry. Yeah. So oh, sorry. Actually, I was talking while uh, my mic was okay. muted. Okay. So that's another thing. See, if your camera was on, then we would know. We would you. We would see you doing something like this. If 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 you just cameras off and you're muted, we don't know what's going on. We're just wa stumbling around in the dark. Go ahead, tell Richard if he got you or not. You know, to be honest with you, also I was uh, away from my mobile. Oh so, boy! I, so he was. You know, Richard, he, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. You were away. Aha! Yes, a little bit. Was that why you had your camera off? Because you're you stepped away and you wanted us you to know, think that you're here. Well, we you succeeded. We thought you were here. 
And now we're talking about, is Murad here? Is Murad not here? Nobody knows. Murad, please mute yourself. Over to you, Richard. Murad is walking in and out. We don't know if, if he's here yeah, or not. Sure. We don't sure. care. You don't have to get him. You know, he's not here. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, sure. So I will, I will talk about, I just finished my dinner and I have a good news and you will be so happy. You have my teacher. I, I have news today. My, my test topper a three day. So close, Richard, you were this close to bringing in your good news. And then the gods of good news said, ha, 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 no. And they struck you down into the internet void. Richard, if you come back, let us know, but you're frozen. Oh, well, we'll hear about your, your great improvement in your TOEFL score another time. Back to the group. Richard. Yeah. Quickly, before it happens again, what's yeah, your good news? Okay. Uh, my good news is will be make you happy. Just tell me the I... good news. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I got improved my English. Before I got B1 level, now I got B2. But okay. when I was, I was test my English, that time I have trouble about uh, structure and paces and listening. I, I don't have a trouble about that. But I, I decide to get at one level, but I see that problem I, I don't want. I just want to get improvement and then I'm great grateful about that because it's so tough for me to at one level because the structure made me complicated. Congratulations, B2, upper intermediate. You went from lower you, intermediate Jane. to upper intermediate for people who don't yeah. know the rating, right? A1, yeah. A2, A1, lower beginner, upper beginner, B1, lower intermediate, B2, upper intermediate, C1, lower advanced, C2, upper advanced. So um, Richard went from B1 to B2, upper intermediate. Great, congratulations. Thank you, James. And also I, I cut my, my hair today. You cut your hair? Yeah. Looking sharp. <laughs> Yeah. Is anyone else? Or keep going. Okay, sure. And also I reveal the language and then yeah. No, no, no game. Anyone else? Hello. Mohammed Mahadi. Yes, sir. From Bangladesh. Welcome. Hi. Hi, sir. Uh, my name is Mehedi. I'm from Bangladesh. Already uh, you have mentioned here. This is my number. Uh, this is my third class. Today I'm going to do. And uh, I'm doing great. And I have a good news, sir. And uh, if you permit me, then I want to share my good news. What happened exactly today? Yeah, you're right with Richard sharing good news. Go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, uh, in 2003, 2003, I was studying in a kindergarten school. So at this time, I had a friend. So I'm not going to mention uh, her name here. Give them a fake so, name if you want. Yes, really, uh, really. Name... It'll, be, it'll make it easier for us to talk about. And I totally understand wanting to protect their privacy. Give them a fake name. Uh, yes. Uh, her name was uh, Sadika. Okay. Okay. And so, you know, uh, actually he was my close friend because I had a lot of memory with her, especially in the uh, Divin time. At, at Divin time, we played together. Uh, we played cricket and, uh, and lots of games. But sir, uh, suddenly I followed that at this time she wasn't coming to the school. Then I was very sad. 
then I uh, got a news that his father, uh, our father was working uh, in Bangladesh police and suddenly uh, his job, uh, it was transferred to another state. And uh, there was, I had no communication, uh, sorry, I had no uh, mobile phone or I wasn't used any kinds of social media tools. That's why it was very hard to get, to communicate with her. And so, you know, uh, before three days ago, uh, before three days ago, I installed uh, a mobile phone app. Uh, this app name is uh, Open Talk. I have installed this app only for making conversation with different person. So I, I use this app for five times. So when I uh, use this app for six times, then I got a voice. I hear a voice uh, from the opposite side. And uh, actually, I couldn't understand that uh, this voice is from uh, this girl. But uh, I asked some questions. But after getting her introduction, then uh, actually, I, I understand that uh, this girl was Sadika. I was very surprised. And so, you know, I uh, already I, I got my friend. But uh, one thing I have realized, and I want to share to all the members here, you know, day by day, we are getting acquainted or we are getting introduced with a lot of social media tools. So all the social media tools, uh, these are not uh, only making our life easier, but also uh, is giving uh, us a lot of old memory. So this is my uh, good news, sir. Say anyone else. Uh, anyone else, please. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Romy TV from Nepal and I'd like to summarize Mahdi. It's Ramesh, from... yes, please. can I give you just one small piece of advice? Can you lower your oh. camera so we can see your whole face because it's cutting off at your mouth? Oh, That's, okay. It, yeah, great, great. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. So I like to summarize. Mahdi is from Bangladesh, and Mahdi, you have a good news. That good news is about your childhood friend. For a long time, you didn't see each other, and suddenly you installed F. Oh, I forgot the F's name open open to talk or something like that app and you installed and for five times you used that app but you didn't get your childhood friend but at the time of six six times then you got your friend you introduced each other and after being introduced each other you got her as your childhood friend. Oh, something is disturbing. I fixed it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, you explained her background, family, father, and police, police department, and trans transfer from one state to another state, and. That was really good news, and you talked about advantages of social media and social media, of course, help us a lot to improve and communicate with national and international friends, teachers, students, everywhere. That's the good news. And is it correct, Mahdi? Uh, yes, Ramis, can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Yes, uh, ninety percent is correct, uh, and oh. you uh, was unable to say. Uh, you know, I was using this app name was Open Talk. Okay. Oh. And uh, oh, actually, oh, I, I yeah, did not. Talk, yeah. uh, I did not install this app uh, for getting her for searching her because I never thought that I can get her uh, by utilizing that types of social media tools. Uh, you know, it was my. Uh, I never expected. Okay, thank you. Other, you know, uh, you have explained perfectly. Okay, <laughs> that's why I used to add both suddenly, suddenly <laughs> you got to know her 
on on that app often talk often talk. Oh, good and now i like to give my own some reasons to be here and all the time all participants explain why they are here and i'm also here because i'm an english teacher and i like to understand all english speaking people from different parts of the world not only from britain and america but australia and indonesia philippines afghanistan Bangladesh, and india so that i can understand them because i have to talk to international students teachers sometimes and sometimes i have to work as an interpreter also that's why it it helps me to be confident and to know their accent sometimes i find it very difficult to understand especially cognitive accents they pronounce very differently and sometimes even i find it difficult to understand american accent also like how they pronounce city city and i have to listen to them a lot and after i listen to allah uh, to jamster then i feel comfortable to understand this american accent too and anyway i like to improve my spoken english here and to be familiar with international friends so that i can talk to them in mono language right? because i like to be monolingual teacher in my class too i don't like to be bilingual teacher because i think of l1 l1 the first language uh, interferes us uh, to speak in the second language that's why i like to speak very very slowly in my class too I, I don't i don't hurry to speak but again something is stopping okay. me. anna anyway, mute yourself I, please i like to finish myself here <laughs> then as much from my side and I'd like to say, anyone else, please? This is Amira from Libya. Um, Ramash, you said uh, coming here for uh, class to participate and to improve uh, your speaking. And uh, you note uh, we have a different accent from different uh, country. You see um, from uh, Australia, uh, India, Bangladesh, and um, you are happy because uh, day, on, day after day you get a lot of uh, accent and at the same time you take another uh, advantage to speak with uh, James to understand the native uh, speaker. And you are a teacher and uh, you like to teach um, monolingual and uh, you try to speak slowly, slowly to understand and uh, other understand you, am I right? Manoj? Yes, you are absolutely correct. Yeah, thank you. So, um, okay, um, for me, um, I think um, this class, uh, not uh, only for, uh, improve uh, my speaking. Uh, but sometimes um, my teacher or uh, maybe James, yeah, you play uh, something as a game to improve other skills in ourselves, to improve- uh, I didn't hear that. I didn't, just, just one word I missed. I play yeah. what? Play as a, um, in, the com uh, com in the conversation uh, when that, uh, you uh, uh, every day coming here to open uh, conversation. You mm. play uh, as a game um, to um, try to improve uh, other skills inside uh, inside myself and inside mm. uh, maybe other uh, members to improve communication. And sometimes uh, you try to uh, understand uh, to help uh, us to understand uh, ourselves. Uh, yeah, this is the very interesting type of teaching. You you um, 
you not you didn't uh, coming here just only to uh, participate and to uh, uh, put uh, a lot of material as a teacher just only um, uh, speaking or uh, or um, uh, or a specific topic yeah uh, sometimes you do um, other thing um, for me uh, sometimes i can't understand uh, why you are doing like this but uh, with the time i see uh, myself uh, improve in a different way and i get it uh, the moral from this uh, participate anyone else why is overrated this is Khan uh, speaking from Bangladesh. May I go? Uh, there was well, somebody else. There was someone else who also tried to speak. Who was that? Okay, no worries. Well, well, hold on, Khan. There was someone else who wants to speak. I think. Yeah. Good afternoon. Bokar, okay, just wanted to know who. So go ahead, Khan and then Bokar. Uh, Miss Amira, I would like to reflex uh, you. Um, uh, you said that uh, here uh, we are not uh, improving, I mean, we are uh, not only improving our speaking in scale, but also we are uh, oh having God. here a uh, different scale of knowledge by Mr. Jane Green. Well, uh, uh, like some kind of role play um, and uh, some kind of others also exercise, um, he just teach us. So it's kind of uh, remarkable for us. And uh, in the last moment you said, uh, like uh, sometimes you didn't understand somehow, I really didn't know. So is that, uh, is that what you are saying? Um, uh, thank you, Khan. Um, um, I said uh, about uh, not Roy, uh, Roy Blay, uh, said other games, uh, I can't um, or I don't have the names for this uh, this games, but I think it's games uh, to work our personality, you know, not only for uh, teaching English teaching. And um, I said um, sometimes I get confused uh, why James doing that for us, but uh, with time I see uh, improve uh, my um, my personality, specific my personality and other skills, uh, and get it the moral from this. You get me? Oh, well, so he play a game that exactly about our personality that you are saying. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Okay. Thank you. Well, for me, um, I'm here for learning new things, new culture, uh, new members to seeing new members here. And um, my main or crucial reason is here for uh, just gain something new or just uh, acquire something uh, novel from uh, Mr. Not only Mr. Uh, Green side, but also all the peer side like um, Nani, uh, Ahmed, uh, Miss Amira, and other members as well as. Uh, and the second thing uh, is um, when I was just joined here, so I uh, couldn't speak very well, but uh, now I can express myself. But sometimes I feel uh, upset. I don't know, somehow I just get upset. Um, should I speak or not? Uh, so uh, it's just eating me, but I just forced by myself to speak in front of people that uh, just uh, you can say omit my inertia, frustration, hesitation uh, to get improved in future. So that's all from me. Anyone else?
good afternoon thank you so what i check on the i didn't check the name his name Khan. Uh, Khan. Khan. Yeah. from bangladesh from bangladesh yeah just say what i check in his speech is just uh, by this uh, interference he have checked uh, many he has he got the opportunity to improve his english and that's uh, that's talk, right talk directly also. to khan say you <laughs> okay is uh, also what i see here so we face here each of us can improve and can practice his english skills uh and sorry because uh, you know i have uh, stayed a long time without taking a flow right now we are on friday i have to go try <laughs> sorry and thank you and also i'm so happy to be here now i can improve my english speaking i can practice it and i can face to the native speaker in which i can hear every day every time and try to imitate him and also there are many others uh, who mix it here we can improve our 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 <laughs> i lose the word okay thanks you uh, thank you anyone else this is ahmed uh First of all, I want to summarize Bokar. Uh, you said Bokar, uh, you're happy to be here and uh, your purpose uh, to be here to want to improve your English skills. And uh, you really appreciate it to uh, facing the native teacher as a native English language. Is that correct, Bokar? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, actually, for me, I am so happy to be here. First of all, if you decide to learn English with this group, I th I thought everything is possible to improve my English language. After the five months, you know, now I can speaking and I can expression about my different opinion. I really appreciate that. So. my decision to devote all my time to develop this group but actually i have a good news uh, this group uh, give me the opportunity to change my position in my company from officer to manager i'm so happy to that actually i really appreciate it. what do you happen uh, i don't uh, learn just the english in this group i learn a lot of the thing in this group and actually i am so sad because i finished my job in the 13 utc uh, i joined the one later uh, the group so i'm very sad about that so i don't know thank you so much well uh, so first of all congratulations ahmed that sounds like thank great you news so much. now i missed the last part that you said um you finish your job at 13 utc yes sure. your new job yes sure yeah So there's it'll be harder to get here at 13 UTC. Just one hour. I join the one hour later. Okay. Yes, sure. I'm I'm so I'm so sad about that because I lose one hour in this class. Mm. The um uh, now I don't know the details about your um you know, uh, your job and your transition, but it sounds like you finish your job at 13 UTC. and then you need an hour maybe to get home and yes, join sure. the call yeah exactly sure well congratulations and um, thank you so that's much really great thank news. you so much i really appreciate the group because he gave me this opportunity to be a manager so thank you so much first of all for you and everybody here thank you anyone else anyone else now There's five minutes left before I pass over to Rama. So I'd like to end with five minutes of surprises and learnings. 
do you have a surprise, a learning, a satisfaction, a dissatisfaction, a discovery, or a next move based on being here for the last hour? Hello, James. Um, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Would Mukhtar. you please make me a co-host? Would yes, I'll make, make you a co-host. Co I'll make you a co-host, of course. Yeah, thank you. Surprises, learnings? This is Azita from Iran. For me, surprises learning is some good news. I can hear from my friends in this meeting. It's good for me and it makes my day great. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing your good news with us. Thank you so much. Be successful, be happy forever. Thanks, that's it. Anyone else? This is Amal and I feel satisfied for always being in this uh, Zoom call by Mr. Green. Uh, it feels like uh, this place is, is like a, a world where where I could get in and 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 see anyone and everyone in here talks only in one language that is English language. So uh, it, that's what, how I feel like like that. Uh, and the more I be in here, the more uh, my brains. Like I call, it, we'll we'll try to work out to 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 talk English like as if it's like natural coming off from 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 myself when I start talking in in, in in English language. So yeah, that's 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 all. I'm satisfied for always being here. Uh, this is Amira. Today I learn uh, from James itself. Um, when someone of uh, coming here and um, say good news and uh, appreciated uh, uh, the class, I see uh, is very, he is very happy. Yeah, I learned how to student effect um, for uh, teacher. Mm. Anyone else? This is Muqaddas Jio from Afghanistan. And um, it is my second day that I joined uh, these online classes and I'm uh, really happy that I can participate in such a class to improve my speaking. I think it's a useful way, actually a very useful way for uh, improving our language skills, especially uh, speaking. Um, and no matter how many mistakes we make in uh, speaking, uh, it is important that you should uh, let yourself to speak and have the courage uh, to talk to others and express our opinion. Thank you so much. Welcome, Mokadis Joya. So happy to hello. have you. Yes, who said hello? Is that El Zaira? Uh, sir, hello. This is Mahidi from Bangladesh. Mahidi, go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, I'm very surprised uh, because my uh, consistently or slow by slowly, my English speaking is developing. Uh, after being here within three days, I have learned lots of things. And I'm very surprised, uh, you know, before that, I had a problem, which is consistency. I couldn't make maintain my consistency if I... Uh, practice my English language with any kinds of English group or uh, on Zoom meeting, but I couldn't maintain my consistency. But, you know, when I followed all the member of this platform, you know, there have some members, I'm going to mention their names, respectively, they are Ahmed, uh, Amira, Nani, so uh, Aman. So every day uh, they're uh, on Zoom meeting, they're not missing any classes. And also, uh, especially, uh, I want to say about Sir uh, James, you know, every day you were uh, conducting your meeting uh, with us and you were sharing your information. So, sir, also I uh, got a lot of in uh, inspiration uh, or encouragement uh, after watching you and after getting your sounds every day. So, 
uh, actually I'm very surprised and I have learned um, uh, how to maintain the consistency and I hope I will maintain my consistency here. So thank you, Great. sir. Thank you, Mahadi, and we'll leave it there. Thank you, everybody. So um, I'm going to pass over to Rama and I'm going to introduce Rama. Uh, right, Rama is a proud Ugandan by nationality from Africa, holding a diploma in journalism, currently joining James Green's English class, extremely passionate about exploring new challenges and teaching as a career, furthermore enrolled in private studies, in professional education and teaching awards uh, diploma from Frisbee College in the UK. Over to you, Rama. Well, thank you, James. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Rahma, as James stated. Proud Ugandan. I have to thumb that again. An African. Um, it is the 5th of August. Happy New Month, everyone. And I'm happy to be here. And yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'll dive into... Just a minute, share my screen. All right, today is going to be, uh, okay. We have 44 participants and uh, just a quick question, James. Are we streaming live on YouTube? Yes. All right, okay. We have 44 participants. How about we do a quick game? Uh, let some of us, in fact, all of us go to YouTube and uh, open our YouTubes and click the like button. All right, uh, just a minute. I'll take the lead uh, by sharing my screen so you can see that Rahma is there. Okay, share. All right, Jim screen class there. Yeah. And like, please kindly do that. It's a quick thing. And uh, yeah, just hit the like button. And yeah, I can see seven participants have done that so far. All right, that's a good one. Eight, yeah. I'm following, please. You can all see my screen. So we are 44, please, let's do this. Nani, Ramesh, Azita, Azizi, Khan, Ahmed, please, uh, Frida. Head to YouTube and hit the like button. Let's grow this group, uh, not only joining the Zoom classes, but also growing the YouTube channel. Okay, I can see nine participants have liked so far. 10, I'm counting. We're 44, please. Come on, uh, Mukhtar. Ari, I can see you. It's quick, you don't have to leave the Zoom class. Alex, I can see you, 12 participants have liked. Okay, that's a good uh, progress. It's easy, you don't have to leave uh, the Zoom class. You can just, uh, you know, flip it on the on one side and yeah, 13 so far, uh, good job. All right, okay, I'll stop sharing my screen and share something else. Mm -hmm. Moon me, please hit the like button. Uh, let's see, Cotton. Okay, sorry about that. Hmm. So we'll start with a video. Any of you? There we go. No, no, no. Apologies. I messed up something here. Hi, Alex. You can see you in the building. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'm fumbling, I'm a little bit nervous, so please, uh, okay. All right. Huh. Minimize just a little bit. Share screen.
exit full screen. Ahmed, <laughs> can you see my screen? Actually, no. Not yet, Miss. Is there anything we can help you with, Roma? Roma, I don't, I, I'm not able to find where to, where to click. Can you please guide me? I think there's a problem. Rama, can you hear us? If you're talking, we don't hear you. Am I audible? Now you're audible. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry I had some issues going on, but yeah, let's dive into uh, the topic today. Uh, today, I want us to talk about culture, all right? Um, what is culture? Culture is uh, an umbrella that encompasses social behavior, institutions, norms, and human societies, all right? This includes knowledge, uh, beliefs, art, laws, and customs. Um, it turns out that in our daily lives, we cannot exist without culture. It is part of us. It is, it is like one portion of us, all right? Uh -huh. Culture is found in specific regions and locations. You find that uh, you go to a different uh, part of the country and they behave differently. They have their own culture norms. They have their own foods. They have their own dress codes. They have, everything is done differently. So there is no way you're going to find culture A in resemblance with culture B. I would love to hear from you. How would you define culture? To you, the audience, it's an open conversation. Feel free, say your name and yeah, define culture. This is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Go ahead, Mukhtar. Well, I think culture is the set of traditions and customs of any society or community, the way they get married, the way they bury their dead, 
the, you know, the, their clothes, their food, their music, art, that's culture, something that maybe distinguish uh, um, one society from another. Thank you, Mukhtar. Uh, please say anyone else, let's give the note. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. This um this amount, uh, I I want to summarize Mr. Mukhtar up. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, can it be Mukhtar uh, Aman? Can you do it a little bit different because this is Rahma uh, summarizing is for James, please. Just define culture in your own words. All right. Okay. Thank you. So so uh, don't need to summarize. People up, right? No, you don't need to summarize. Just That's James's style. Give, yeah. give out your. Um, I need a definition. How would you define culture? <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll do. I'll try to tell you all. Uh, from my, from myself, from my point of view, um, culture is. Culture is uh, what distinguish, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, this distinguish from uh, one's community from another uh, community uh, that has its own, their own culture. And culture is uh, something like, like, uh, like how, Mr. Mokhtar had said, like the, the clothes, the, the music, the ceremony when they have for uh, for their when when they're then when, when the uh, community is uh, getting ready to they they put some uh, you know they set up some. Uh, ceremony something like uh, putting uh, music playing drums and, and uh, whenever that happens they, they do that all the time and also cultures also is also uh, you could include like people doing like uh, uh, yes eating eating uh, eating the type of food that they did that a community eats uh, uh, that's some culture right there. Uh, different kind of food, different kind of clothes, different kind of uh, ceremony uh, set, set up. Uh, yeah, that's that's culture for me. That that's from my point of view that I yeah that, that, that I'm giving to all of you. That's that's my that's all that's all from uh, okay. anybody. Um, uh, Thank you, uh, Amrans. Uh, that was really awesome. Uh, it was broad, but very fine. So would anyone else, uh, let's skip the norm here. Say anyone else or another person can uh, jump in. This is Amira. This is Khan uh, speaking from Bangladesh. Miss uh, Khan and Amira. You can go. Uh, okay. Ma'am, you can go and after then. Might. Okay, this is Amira. Um, you know, uh, when I, I hear uh, culture, um, a lot of things uh, coming to the, my mind. Um, I'm Muslim and I have a specific culture, but in the same time, the culture from my side different to uh, other uh, Muslim country. Uh, when I hear uh, culture, meaning uh, something can I do inside my culture and something I can, can not uh, do. When I say culture, I see um, my culture is more social, my more, more familial, uh, but in the same time, uh, we have a negative uh, predict for other things. When I say culture, I see uh, my children grow up inside my culture and I have a disappointment for my culture. Uh, whatever uh, uh, traditional food, traditional um, song and folklore, but um, I see my culture going down. I see uh, a lot of uh, bad things coming from other, uh, from outside, but uh, 
we still uh, defined against uh, something uh, doing here in my culture. And, um, you know, Rahma, um, I don't know what uh, your topic is very hard uh, to understand <laughs> because it isn't hard. We shouldn't we shouldn't familiar ourselves with always the same things, you know. So this is a trick on you, a trick on everyone. Because at the end of the day, Amira, you just said uh, that uh, to you culture is different. When you think of culture, it it goes into religion, which is which falls under an umbrella of customary beliefs. Customary beliefs are include social forms, social forms which can be done through sports where uh, the youth, you know, the men, the women gather and support a particular club. Uh, it can be done through uh, our workplaces, the people we work with, all right? It can be done through uh, uh, college clubs, uh, whereby they hold discussions about uh, different works, all right? Then that is different. Then we slide into the religious part of it. We have different re religions, all right? We have different beliefs. We believe differently, we pray differently, we, we, uh, we, we have different ceremonies that we hold. Uh, we have different uh, activities we do. Uh, for, for instance, uh, circumcision in some parts of my country, it is, it is part of their culture. Um, there is a naming of babies in case a person gave birth to a baby. That they they hold like a meeting, so it's a big deal to some cultures. All right, um, there are behaviors like um, you cannot greet an elder standing; you have to kneel down. That's in my culture, all right? The Baganda culture. You have to kneel down while greeting an elder. You have to bow while uh, greeting a, an elder. You, you won't stand while greeting him or her. You have to eat without slapping, all right? There's some people who eat while slapping, so that's part of culture. So culture, you have to walk modestly. You know, you're not just going to uh, walk and, you know, make the whole area alert that, oh, so-and-so is coming. So that is part of culture. Um, I would love you to give me some of the realistic uh, cultural values and social behaviors, you know. Uh, from my side? Go ahead, okay. Amira. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe uh, uh, Khan, um, I misunderstand. Maybe you need to from other par participate. Uh, yeah, All right. anyone else? It's okay. Um, so, could anyone else list uh, at least this is Hello. Uh, this, this is Munmi from in. Okay, I had two people Hello. speaking. Okay, Munmi, go this ahead. This is for Amar from said, a, uh, you're going to okay. The gentleman, you're not going to talk because Amir, um, Munmi said her name first. So the name yeah. is, say your name, then dive into the topic. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Munmi. Okay. Thank you, Rangma. This is Munmi from India. For me, culture is. Uh, uh, way of life tradition uh, like um, group of people in different different places uh, they follow the same tradition same belief uh, their uh, same type of uh, clothes same type of food habits and then uh, their uh, marriage system uh, then songs uh, clothes festivals <clears throat> then their way of greeting so similarity in uh, a group, uh, and there uh, a similarity in the uh, in a way of their life in a particular group. Uh, then there are some cultures where uh, which is patriarchal, and there are some culture which is uh, dominated. The society is dominated by women. So different different cultures, different different uh, group of people have different uh, way of living life. So that is uh, culture. Thank you, anyone else? All right, anyone else, please? Yeah. I'm going to speak on uh, this is Farmas from, from Afghanistan. Who's talking? Okay, Farmas, go ahead. Um, um, 
So the to the the to topic is about uh, uh, culture. In right. my point of view, culture is uh, the, a set of customs, traditions. Like uh, we can say, it is consist of the way the way of uh, wearing clothes. Uh, so the way of doing wedding parties. So the way of of religious uh, doing religious ceremonies or foods and uh, or we can say behaving with others in family in society uh, between friends or with friends so we cannot say anyone that doesn't have culture maybe that culture is not acceptable for us but that is a kind of culture so that's all Okay, uh, Thermes, uh, thank you for pointing out that there is cultural difference, uh, whereby some cultures, what is normal in some cultures, it is, isn't normal in other cultures. So that's where the realistic uh, cultural values come in. All right, there, um, there are some cultures whereby it is okay for you to bow, but then in another culture, it isn't okay. Like it would be, it would mean something else. So these gestures uh, pass on a different message. There are some cultures where by nodding their heads, does anyone know what culture nods their heads? It is very close to some people here. Well, by nodding your head, it's a big deal. It is part of their culture, or they speak. Munmi, would you love to try, Arif? What culture nods their head while speaking? I may try. That's a question. So. Yeah, what, what was your question? What culture? What culture uh, yeah. gives a gesture of nodding their head while speaking? Yeah. At, at first, let me clarify, uh, clarify that uh, what does mean culture? Culture means different perspective. Is every uh, tribe have their own tradition, I mean own culture. If another tradition, they have different, that means there is difference between culture. Yeah, I, uh, and- Nice try, was... Arif. By your off topic, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'll tell you. The culture Let me try, that... Rama. Go ahead, Nani. Go ahead. I got your question because we are in Indonesia, which is a uh, 300,000 ethnical group and every mm -hmm. different group, different culture, <laughs> but on uh, unite in one Indonesia. Yeah, I should ask any any culture with nodded. Yes, we have here Japanese, Batanese, Padangese. If we nod it means yes. When we <laughs> shake hands means no. Uh, that's the example that you asked. Then we have here a lot. In another oh, culture nice. country mm -hmm. also, I found it. Yeah, I just want to explain the one from my country. Anyone else? Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Uh, who said hello? I can see you, oh, Sarah. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Azara. Hello, good evening, all of you. Um, actually, I want to add something uh, about nodding the head. Uh, in in Malaysia, actually, uh, I'm living in Malaysia, and Malaysia hold um uh, like a, a hold a big kind of uh, culture like nodding a head. Uh, nodding head means a sign of uh, agreed. A sign of respect or a sign of uh, a welcoming uh, whatever the topic or whatever um, uh, the speech uh, that came how are you? yeah hello go ahead El Sahara. okay uh, it, it shows signs of respect welcoming and like uh, be honest to people around you whatever the topic is um, about to uh, deliver so uh, nodding is really good um i mean good signs it's it's really a friendly uh like a friendly sign um uh, and really you know um it, it 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 shows it shows love to everybody so yeah in my in my country actually we hold uh this kind of uh culture too like uh nodding nodding uh ahead so uh th that's all from me all right uh thank you Elzahara. Um, in addition to that, uh, there is folding of hands, all right? There is shaking of hands, 
holding of hands while greeting. You find in some cultures, they'll hold your hand for like 20 minutes, 20, I mean, 20 seconds. So you would wonder, you'd be like, what sort of culture is this? What is happening here? And uh, there is greeting while, you know, as waving, or you would say the salute if you've seen the policeman. So that's also part of, yeah, like, they're waving, they're waving, you may say, but it, it is part of their culture that they're actually greeting you. Um, there is then the bowing, there is the kneeling, and then there is uh, a specific way of calling the elders. You give them specific titles, all right? You're not going to call a, an elder with his name, all right? You have to use specific name like, um, like Mr. Wiseman, all right? In some cultures, you'll be like, Mr. Wiseman, I would love to talk to you. You're not going to come there. Hey, grandma. Oh, I mean, yes, some do that in some cultures. That's where the cultural difference comes in. Um, okay. Um, do you think body language matters in culture? Lovely participants, please, let's be lively. All right. We're 40 people. Um, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Uh, I think Alex was, wanted to yeah, say something. Alex first, of course, yes. All right. Gone, Alex. You're on mute. I think we can't hear you, Alex. Alex, I can't hear you. Does it work? Yeah, correct. Can hear you now. Go ahead. Not? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, yeah, body language is. It means a lot, right? One one movement in one country can mean something, and like everybody said already, same movement in a in another country could mean something different, something maybe people don't like. So <laughs> we, we something yeah. When we go to another place, I think I think we must take care of it to learn a little bit of that culture, so you can go without any problems into it. And I would like um, to add also that everybody said this already, but uh, culture is different everywhere. And I guess diversity is is like, I don't know how to put it in words, but it's the thing of us as humanity. That's what makes us different. What's, that's, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that's God willing, <laughs> God's will, sorry. And that's all I wanted to say by now. Anyone else? Right, thank, thank you, Alex. Uh, Mukhtar, you had something to say? Yeah, I'd like to share, I mean, a funny story that happened to me some years ago. Actually, it's not related to body gestures, but to uh, cultural differences. Is it fine if I share it with the group? It would be fine, but with time, but... I'm sorry. Maybe right? you keep it... Brief. Okay, fine. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Oops, done. Um, all right. Uh, the body language here, I may give you examples 201. There is the rolling of the eyes, all right? You find that some people, it is okay for them to roll the eyes, but then it is it is an insult to some cultures. So that's the body language you're giving out there. So if you did that, someone would be like, oh, this person is morally, you know, not right. Uh -huh. Then there is the deep sigh of relief. That deep sigh of relief sometimes pushes on a different message to the public. It's it's sometimes it is taken as undermining people or disbelief, you would say. So, um, then we have the shaking of the head. Leave alone the nodding, but now the shaking. Like if I did this, like I'm in disbelief, I'm in I'm disappointed, or I do not agree with you. So it is it is part of culture. You're communicating, you're sending on your message, all right? Hmm. Let's move on to Rama. Can I say something that related body language that happened right. here too? Go yeah. Ahead. In Indonesia, I have uh, two experience. One is really terrible. We almost got any fight here in this location in my house because of this finger pointing at. 
I didn't mean pointing at him, but he considered I pointing at him. He misunderstood me with finger. So it is be careful when we came, <laughs> and one came Indonesia using finger, index finger especially. It is really offended with this one. And I met kind of this often. It's like praying, but it's not really praying meaning here. It's respect from my heart, like this. So respect from my heart. So when I have any Zoom with Mexican friends, they confuse. It's not common in their country putting like this. But they consider it's not bad things. They consider it's very positive. Why you always do, do this, Nani, they say. Yeah, it is like in my culture here, I say everything uh, respect, my respect, by putting in my heart like this, like I do in my praying. Yeah, uh, that's two body language you're gonna share. That's really important. If you come like Rama said, any country might a different value to give body language, just be careful. So here with the index fingers, is bring you uh, trouble, uh, dangerous situation. But if you put like this, everybody welcome you. That's all, anyone else? Yes, this is Munmi. Uh, Nani, I can join you in this. Uh, uh, the way, uh, yes, this is also in our culture, Indian culture, we greet people like this. We do not shake hands or hug. So this is our culture also. We greet people with, when we call it Namaste. <laughs> yeah, anyone else? All right. Uh, thank you, Munmi. Uh, let's dive into another section. Um, there is critical interactions while discussing culture you're talking with different people how do you handle that how do you keep a, a conversation going in mind bear in mind that the, there is uh, criticism at the same time you want to interact healthy you know hold a healthy conversation does anyone have an idea how you would dive into that i'm being simple here should uh, should you feel uncomfortable please uh, raise your hand, all right? Okay. In the face of critical in interactions, the more we feel fear, all right, this inhibits our ability to connect, to be creative and think critically. So you find yourself that you will not be free enough to express yourself to this person because he or she is going to criticize your culture. He or she is going to look at only the negative side and not hear you out. Um, let's say for instance, there are some cultures whereby they kneel. Then you'll find a person asking you, he or she already knows that you kneel and you'll be like, hey, why do you kneel? And what will your answer be? Because we do it that way, all right? On the other side, if you feel comfortable with people discussing, interacting with them about your culture, it helps you to fully engage with full capacity and uh, memory as well as improvement. So has any of you come across uh, critical interactions? And uh, just give me two, two points. Uh, allow me to say this, for those that have participated or have said a thing, uh, kind of give room to others that haven't said a thing. And please let's be active here. Kawa, Kawa Syria, would you please share um, any points uh, in the face of critical interactions? Kawa, I can see you. Happy to have you here. Kawa Syria. Yeah, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak about my point. Uh, um, each country have a different, uh, I think, uh, tradition and so different culture. Sometimes uh, I, in my country, we have some special uh, things it's, it's related to our community, our, our um, uh, religious, it's all of about uh, um, special, uh, tradition and special culture in myself. Sometimes when you know and you visit uh, a new country, you're shocked about culture. We have shocked culture 
about something new, you know. Uh, when you leave their country or you visit a new country, you, you, you know something new, tradition and uh, culture and uh, so on and so on. I think uh, all about uh, the, uh, when the, the special calm believer on uh, um, uh, nationally and uh, uh, believe in uh, uh, resident um, any country. This is tradition. Sometimes uh, in my country, we, uh, we, we don't uh, check the, the feminine women. It's uh, something related about our belief and uh, religious. Uh, when we want to do uh, say some uh, say hello for women, we don't uh, shake uh, her hand. It's uh, about uh, my religious. It's related about something like that. And uh, uh, every uh, resident and every uh, uh, community have um, special uh, culture. This is my opinion about uh, culture and uh, special culture. Uh, the, all of the uh, the world is it for me for culture. Okay, thank you, Kawa. Uh, that was impressive, and I hope uh, our lovely participants here have picked a word or two. Uh, let's dive into the social, economical, and political aspect of it. Do you think culture uh, benefits the economic, the and social? aspects you you uh, ask me uh, you want me to answer your uh, question um i think you participated let's see another person thank you okay well, thank, you. Well, welcome. thank you very much Hatma, iran i can see you would you mind telling us uh does culture add to the economic well-being of a society or not Hatma? hello Yes. Uh, no. Definitely, must have, yes, I think so. Um, maybe I can't give you an example, a clear example now, but uh, culture effect on all aspects of life in society, economical, uh, political, definitely, religion and family, rights, everything, it can affect, absolutely. But uh, at this moment, I don't remember to, give you an example in my country, but uh, I will find it. Okay, I've heard you mentioned uh, rights, uh, then uh, not only rights, the economic bit of it, you find that the cultures that do different types of crafts or different types of clothing. So if these clothing are sold out there or maybe are put in the market, these funds are then are generated back to the country and individuals are set up themselves. So we are not only building individuals or our, our finances, but, but the country as well. Uh, these people, the tourists that come into our country, they come to explore our culture, all right? So culture isn't something to play with. It is also an income uh, generating uh, thing. All right, um, let's dive into the activities. Do we... Would you would you mention some of the active cultural activities that uh, that we have or you've come across? I'll give you one: poetry. Uh, Imam, I would love to hear from you, please. I need active people, so I'm gonna pick on you. <laughs> Imam, are you there? The Horn, Indonesia. Would you please tell us some of the cultural activities, you know? Alicia, Alicia, are you there? Yeah. All right, take the floor. Any cultural activities you've come across? I've given you a hint of, say, poetry. Thank you. 
I think she's Lawrence, the internet, and it's online. I I mute here. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, go on, go on, Alex. You were saying something. Oh, I see. I see. Usma is raising the hand. I think wants to talk. Oh, Usma, Usma, you say you, you don't have to raise your hand. You just say your name and dive into the topic. Thank you. Okay, this is Usma from Pakistan. And uh, uh, I think different cultures have different, uh, I think different countries have different cultures and the cultures involves the symbols, languages, norms, uh, values, and artifacts that characterize any society and that shape the thoughts, behavior, and uh, attitude of the manners of the society. And uh, culture is made up of uh, traditions, beliefs, and I think it gave us the meaning of way of learning and our lives. Uh, human beings, human beings are uh, which human beings creates, and uh, culture is made up of traditions, beliefs, way of life, from the most spiritual to the most material. It gave us meaning of way of learning uh, to our lives. And human beings are creators of cultures. And at the same time, culture is what makes us, I think, humans. And that's it from my side. Anyone else? Thank you, Uzma. In addition to uh, the culture activities, we have fishing, we have farming, we have poetry, we have so, uh, storytelling. Have yes. Folklore and, yes, and being a Muslim, we have different. I think uh, we have same culture in all over the world. Women wear hijab. Women uh, cover her, her their heads, and we read Quran. We celebrate Eids. I think Muslim have the same cultures cultures in all over the world. Um, you're right about that, Uzma. Though it doesn't fall under the activities, I do appreciate your opinion. Um, hmm. Well, I would love to hear from you. Um, I've, I've dropped uh, a link in the chat box. Uh, kindly uh, click on the link, all right? Write your name and uh, answer the questions. It's, a, it's, a, it's an activity we can all do. Yeah. No link yet, Rama. I beg your pardon? No link. You said in the chat box. I, did, I don't see any link. I dropped a link there already, Nani. Just a minute, I see the link again. Sure. Yeah, I'll drop it again. So the instructions are clear. Click on the link. All right. Do you see, do you see link, Nani? Let's see. In the chat box, please. Uh, yes, sure. Uh -huh. So click on the link, uh, write your name and then answer the questions. Yeah. Are you guys there?
uh, I've seen, okay, uh, lovely participants. Arika turns out to be the first, uh, then Nargis, then Amira, uh, well done. Uh, I only needed uh, uh, the first three, so good job. Those that have lost, there is always a next time. All right, I'll stop sharing my screen there. Okay. That was a quick one. I don't know how many participants were there, but share my screen now. On to the next phase. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, tell me if you see my screen, please. Is my screen viewable? All right. Can you try and guess what culture uh, dresses this way or what country? Do you have an idea? Yeah, I have idea. Can I? Go ahead. Yeah, it's a desert and there is a camel with a man. It's especially, uh, this culture especially referred to Saudi Arabia. I mean, Arab world, Middle East. All right, and, and what's the name of this, this attire? Yeah. I'll give you a clue. It starts with J. It's a desert and there is a camel and with a man. I know that it. Yes, uh, you pointed, but does anyone know, have an idea what this attire is called? Like every culture has their own attires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. yeah in, our, in our culture, it's called Panjabi with, I don't know what it's called. I mean, in contrast to this culture, what is this? Ahmed, Yala, could you please Yala try? Yala it's Yala correct. It's say more, that. Yeah. All right, good job, Mahtar. Yes, it is called the Jalabiya. All right, uh -huh. we move on to the next one. All right. Does anyone have an idea what culture dresses like this? I'm going to pick on the silent subgroup. I swear to God. <clears throat> This is Ahmed. Actually, I am not silent group, but uh, I already okay. I don't if I can say something about this or not, uh, because I don't have the vocabulary to describe this, photo, you know, something like this. Nani, I'll give you a clue. It starts with E, the women dress like this. It's E, it's the traditional one. It's a country. E. Uh -huh. India? No, <laughs> that's with I. <laughs> e. It starts with E. Oh, they have the pyramids. Egypt. 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 May I try? Correct. El Zahara did say it's Egypt, indeed. Uh huh. Then this. Do you have any idea what this country, the women dress like this? This is their tradition. Azerbaijan? This month is. Okay. Oman. One by one, please. You're speaking at uh, one time. So, Turkey. Pakistan. I'll give you a clue. They speak Persian. Speak right. Speak Persian. Language. Iranian. No, they speak Persian language and their country starts with I. For hmm. this, Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Tajikistan starts with A. Their country starts with I. I didn't get that. Uh, Kawa, could you repeat, please? I think. Oh, it's Iran. Sorry. Okay, it's Iran. Iran. Uh, yeah. yeah right. uh, then this. Any idea what culture dresses like this? India. 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 Thank you, Uzma. Correct. India. Yeah, Rama. Rama, can I see something about this? Uh, um, may I say? 
may I hear who said he wants to say something? The, the sari from yeah, India. Yeah. Oh, it is called a sari. Yes, thank you. Uh huh. Then we have this. Any idea? I know this. Uh, uh, Africa. Uganda. Africa. Africa is a continent. It is from Africa. Allow, allow me correct that. I'm African. It's country, my country. Not Africa. <laughs> I mean countries. All right. West, Nigeria. Ivory Coast. No. I don't know Nigeria. 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 Correct. Yes, Nigeria. Okay. Then this one. Any Chinese. idea? Chinese are cool. Japan. 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 Correct. And the dress code is called? Japan. Kimono. The dress code is called Kimono. Kimono. Uh -huh. Then this. Any the idea umbra. what country dresses like this? France. Russia? I bet oh, whoever, whoever tells me this. Russia. European country, it's... this one. No, give it another try. It another France. clue, Rama. Russia. <laughs> uh, hold on a bit. It's a uh... Mexico. Mexico. No, 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 Mexico. <laughs> like this. It's part of no, Eastern Russia. Europe. I don't know what the country name. It's so not a country. Like part of this is France. Up to country. <laughs> Is that Bulgaria. Bulgaria. They have they have the most uh you would say the most nicest and smooth language when they speak. German? No. France. Swedish? France. Oh, France. Right. France. Yes, I say France. Yeah. Well, get um, yeah. It is called the coffee of all you would you would sometimes say um, Hello, please. the Britain. What? All right. Uh -huh. no. Then this. Any idea? What Would you like that? to give the clue? Alaska. Alaska, Alaska. It's from Alaska. Canada. Again, the country starts with I. Indonesia. Indonesia. I, no. Yeah. <laughs> I rely on oh, no. it's Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never see I this. I saw my country. <laughs> I saw it. I'll give you a clue. When they say moment, we say moment in English, but they say momento in English. They, they, they say momento. Spanish. 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 Italy. Correct. Portugal. Portugal. Italy. Italy. Oh, Italy. Italy. Then this one. Italy, oh. Italy. Correct. It was Italy. Uh -huh. Then this one. South, South Africa. Africa. African, no, this yep. is African tribe. Uh, might be in Pacific. Uh, this is the Guinea. Pacific. It is part of India. I've, I've given yeah. you the, what part? Is it the western? Is it the northern? Nepal it or India? It can be purple in, in my country. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No way. Because we I'm dealing with facts here. So popularity is interesting. Yeah. It's uh as much uh what is it? Any idea? India, part of India? Sajoju. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's Myanmar. In Papua. Myanmar. No, it's part of India, na. part of India. Na. Na. I mean, this is Africa. Nagaland. Nagaland. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. I never okay. heard this country name. Then we have this one. Any idea what culture dresses like this? Yes, the shoes. What is this? Only the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> But it, so it is This is no. This is like a Tibetan. I think yeah. correct, Tibetan. correct in Africa. Uh, Tibet. Mongolia. They are the Bhutan. Bhutan. Right? Oh, Bhutan. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Correct. Then we have this. Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Yeah. Hey, it is Scotland, correct? Scotland. What's the name of this wrapper? It has an English name, a specific name. Uh, Kilt. Tarte. Kilt. Tarte. No. Kilt. No. Kilt. Kilt. Correct. It's called Not a kilt. kilt. Uh huh. Kilt. Then we have this culture. What country dresses like this? Dutch. Austria. 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 It starts with G. German. <laughs> Austria. This is Germany. Greece. 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 Though I won't live like that, I must have forgotten something. Uh, apologies, let me get it in a few. Uh, this does anyone have an idea what this is? This is why they're in Nigerians. No, wedding uh, party. Try bachelorette, no bridal no. shower, bridal shower, bridal shower. No, no, <laughs> no? divorce, divorce showers. <laughs> Henna party. <laughs> okay, does anyone know where Rahma comes from? Uganda. Henna party. Uganda. Uganda. Right. Uganda. So this is my tradition. Syria. Uganda. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. lovely participants. It's been uh I'm left with three minutes. So yeah, thank you for uh signing nice, with me Rama, nice. all this work. Thank you, yes. But you didn't uh, pick up one up from my country, Rama. Unfair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't make from our country. Especially yeah, from so my, many here. My, so many. My region. Inshallah, next time. Rama, so you many didn't do anything from yeah. Pakistan. <laughs> oh. oh, really? <laughs> uh, due there to was public nothing about demand, Pakistan. Due to public demand, I'll do it. Uh, uh, culture too, inshallah. Otherwise, it's been nice having you with me and uh, thanks for being lively. And also let's always remember to click the like button and grow this page and love it. And yeah, uh, any feedbacks in two minutes because I'm in one minute, yeah. Nani Indonesia, I want the second part of the culture. Thank you. I agree. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Alex from Mexico, I agree with Nani. He was a very <laughs> educative. I remember this word from James. This was a very educative. Uh, oh, but can, why is thank it you. Good? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, this <laughs> is um, I'd like to say something. All right, I'm very man. curious to know for what. So if you will bring uh, for us uh, next session, uh, so it would be better to having more culture and their traces. Anyone else? Michelle. Oh, thank you. Ben. Any feedbacks, satisfactions? Okay. Yes, um, uh, yes I'm satisfied. Yeah, satisfied with all of it. You know, the part where we have to guess the uh -huh. the country uh the picture from and yeah, it was a fun uh fun moment uh, being being in that that time <laughs> okay um thank you lovely participants it's been a, a very uh lively class and see you next time back to you uh james is james around or ahmed ahmed maybe james god thank you rama i'm here oh yeah um, so the um, on the schedule next is Mukhtar. So if there's somebody um, was who is co-hosting now who wanted to introduce Mukhtar, you could do that. Otherwise, I'll do it. I guess I'll do it. Okay. Let me find Mukhtar's introduction. Mukhtar Juini has been teaching English as a second language in public high schools 
in Tunisia for 25 years now. He also gives in-person as well as online teaching lessons at private schools and language centers in Tunisia. He believed in our group's objectives, James Green's English Classroom, and joined as learner and teacher. He hosts a weekly Zoom call for the Reading Club, which is this thing now. Um, Mukhtar, are you here? Am I, did I make a mistake? Is this not when Mukhtar's class is starting? I think Mukhtar got left. No, 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 I'm here, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, yeah. I, oh, okay. I, I just have a technical problem, now I'm, I'm okay. Great. Uh, well, I, I just introduced you, Mokhtar, so over to Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, uh, James, is it possible that you uh, make me co-host again because I left and can't share my screen? There you are. Your Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, James, make me co-host also. I'll be speaking. Make me co-host. Would you check with Mokhtar first? Uh, and yeah, okay, if, okay, if okay. Mokhtar is okay, I will do that happily. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mokhtar, yeah. Would you like to me co-host? Co yeah, it's fine, yeah. It's fine. Just, just it's um, it's all yours because I'm sharing my screen and I, and I, I can't see uh, people. So it, would you please make sure that you get people, in, I mean, uh, admit it to the group or whatever. Okay, so welcome back to um, our fifth lesson related to the Reading Club. And we're continuing our journey with the Book of Two Ways, a novel written by Judy Pico, and you can see her picture. And we're still working on chapter one, but today we're going to cover passages 10 and 11. Uh, the activities we're doing during our Zoom call are reading aloud, working on reading comprehension, vocabulary, grammar, and also relating to the issues and ideas um, uh, presented in the book and in the passages we're dealing with. Um, our first passage today is uh, the following. Um, just let me make sure, I mean, that my, I'm, I'm sorry, just let me make sure that Muad, please, your voices. Right. Okay, so uh, step one, I'd like um, uh, some of you to read uh, the passage aloud. Would like to give it a start. I would like to. I would. Yeah, this one. Okay, paragraph one. So the first four lines, if you don't mind. No. Yeah. The first line, yeah. right? Okay. Um, I, I got a little bit black. Uh, okay. As the driver turns off, bringing me back to Deir El Barsha, I glanced out the window again struck by the beauty of the sky yawning over the desert. It's blue and pink and orange and the stripes. I'm writing it. Of a day that's yeah. only beginning. Yes. It's blue and pink and orange. Yeah. Would, you, would you like to continue or would you like to invite someone else to? A star. Yeah. Winks. A month. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. A star. Okay. Uh, would you like to continue? Or would you like uh, maybe Shakib to do that? Shakib is raising, raising his hand. Yeah, I can read. Yeah, I can read this. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I can hear you. A star winks at me. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's uh, some spots actually network issue, I think. 
I'm not, it's not clear. Really? Yeah. A problem uh, from my the, side? After no. as the driver, there is a, it's not uh, recognizable actually. A star wakes, uh, um, uh, it's, it's line three, middle of line three. A star oh. winks at me for a moment. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. A star winks at me for a moment before uh -huh. it's sw swallowed by the sun. Uh -huh. uh, serious. Uh, uh, I have arrived in Egypt the day of the Celtic so rising. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tank. Tank, would you like to, you're, raising, you're raising your hand. Would you like to continue reading? Yeah, yeah, I, I'd love to. Uh, because Egypt is a valley, you can see stars just like uh, nowhere else. And uh, the ancient Egyptians uh, tracked the rise of, of groups of stars in the solar calendar. Every 10 days, a new group of star would appear in the east at dawn. After being absent for 70 days. Uh, thank you, Shakib. Thank you, Shakib. Thank you very much. We'd like Tang, Mr. WhatsApp, to give it a try. Tang, the floor is yours. You are, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's thank a pleasure. You, it's, it's a pleasure. Actually, I, I just joined uh, to see you're what's welcome. going on here. You're welcome. That's our pleasure. You're welcome. We are happy having you with us here. So, Tang, yeah. your turn. The Sothic Rising, you know, the most important. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Uh, okay, can I read? Yes, please. The most important of the most important of this was the star series, which they mm -hmm. call Sotis or Subdad. Yeah. Over. Okay. The horn from Indonesia. Thank you. The Sotic rising signal Rabir. It closed because it occurred in the season when the Nile when the Nile would flood and leave still to fertilize their crop to celebrate. Ancient Egyptians would travel to festivals, often leaving great graffiti where they went both mostly. They would greet, they would get drunk and have sex. It was like Kohila every time the Nile overflowed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leon. Let's, um, let's give Ajay the opportunity. Ajay? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, what once told me that at these festivals, the ancient Egypts would purposely drink to the point of vomiting so mm -hmm. that they imitated the Nile, fl Nile flood. Those Egyptians, he said, knew how to live. I look up at the sky again, searching for Sotis. Just like the ancient Egyptian, I see it as a sign. Thank you very much, Jai. Thank you. Yeah. Now our, yeah, next, our next activity, we're going to, now um, we still have the same text that you guys have been reading, but we have also a picture here. And I'd like you please to Try to describe the picture using information from the text. What do you see? Would like to give it a try. Anipa, maybe? Just a man, I would like to try it out. Oh, a man, would you please uh, let Anipa give it a try? Okay, uh, do you, uh, do you, teacher, uh, do you, uh, are you asking about the explanation or uh, reading practice? Yes. Yeah, I like you. I know it's not the reading, the reading activity. Now we have a picture um, along with the text. So I'd like you, I'd like you to describe the picture, talk about the picture with information from the text. Ah, uh, I can give okay. You some I, if you want to? Yes. Uh, I think it is as uh, a kind of star which uh, which are on the bottom, wait, on the top of the Egypt. I think <laughs> uh, maybe I am not. Yeah, what what may what make you think that it is and uh, the sky is in Egypt? Uh, I think um, on the I am, but my English is not um, yeah. is not good, and but, I am not uh, I cannot. It's do. fine if you make it's fine if you make mistakes. Just give it a try, and we can work on that together. 
But what do we see at the bottom of, of the picture? Uh, I think I see the cereals uh, on the bottom of pyramid, or on the top of pyramid, and it was a scene uh, from the sky, and it was uh, the dusk. I think uh, before uh, getting the dark, mm. and the time. I think and fine, that's good. It. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. If you want to say anything more, you can. Mm. Okay, I've asked um, anyone else because I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, good. Yeah, I fine. Thank you. Much mistake. Yeah. yeah. I see Shakib is raising his hand or Arif as well. Can I? Yeah. Okay, these pics are especially referred to pyramid, and mm -hmm. is it is yeah, is it is special specialities they are pyramid, and it convey the deep history of Egypt. And this uh, pyramid is built about 460 years ago. And at the night time, uh, from this pyramid, I mean, in the climb, at the top of the pyramid, these scenarios view at the night time. And it's charming to see. Yeah, I think this is it. Good, thank you. Shakib, maybe you would like, Shakib Salman, I see you're raising your hand. Actually, I have uh, no idea about. It's from the text, history. actually. That's that's some the reading comprehension. I am not inviting you to bring information out of the text. We we need to stick to the text and try to relate the picture to the text and see what. Okay, it's um. Then it's the sky here is it, it must be an Egyptian sky, because we can see the pyramid. But in the sky, there are many um, stars. One <laughs> yeah, star yeah. here, one star is highlighted. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, What's the name of yeah. the star? Sirius. It's a star, Sirius. Uh, Sirius. Does it yeah. have another name? Does the text give another name for this star? If you folks, mainly in the second, on the second paragraph. What yeah. do Egyptians call it? Ancient Egyptians call it. Uh, yeah, it's called Sothis or Subdet, according to the text. And this star is a, is a special, is important for, Egypt, for the ancient Egyptians because, you know, what makes it important? What makes it different for, um, for, for Egyptian, ancient Egyptians? May I try and is that the above? Yes, Go sorry, ahead, uh, I'm, from, I'm from my phone, that's why I can't uh, it's do fine. it very quickly. Yeah, okay. yeah, we can hear you, it's fine with your camera. Okay, yeah. okay thank you. Um, uh, so uh, this star is really um, important for ancient Egyptians because uh, it, uh, it, me uh, it meant um, rebirth, the uh, season <laughs> when um, the Nile would flood so uh, the Nile was very important uh, for them and yeah. uh, I suppose uh, it's very important for Egyptians uh, right now here yeah, because it's the main river in this yeah. Um, uh, region yeah and um, that time it meant uh, rebirth so it was very important for um, those people. Excellent you both. Ari would you like to add something? Uh, no, actually, I think Lubov has it all. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, the uh, 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 Sothis is important for ancient Egyptians because it um, it signaled uh, the season of the floods of the River Nile, and of course, those floods were used to be really good, and uh, it, it it was special for them. Uh, okay, I'm going just to uh, just to make it a bit uh, zoom in. Okay, we're going to continue with the same the same text, but now we're going to work on our vocabulary a bit. Find in the text a verb um, meaning to take a quick look. This Amaz. Yes, Amaz. 
from uh, what you had uh, asked. Uh, you can see stars, like in. Um, let's we focus on. We the glands. We focus yes. the glands. Thank you, Glance Nani. Out. It's Glance two. Out. It's two glands. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, two glands. Right. I glance out the window. She says. Don says. I glance out the window of the taxi again. Then um, it's an um, somehow like an adjective, very large and wide, being large and wide, very large and wide. Yawning. Yawning line two. The sky was yawning over the desert, right? It was large and like, you know, people, when people yawn, they open their mouths. So it's like the sky is like an open mouth on the desert, covering like a circle on the desert. So yawning over the desert. The, desert. the next Wings. word is, yeah. Wink. 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 Yeah, good. Swallow. Good. Swallowed. Wink. Right. To wink. To wink. To flash. To shine. To twinkle. A star winks at right. me. See. Uh, for a moment. Then uh, sunrise. Dawn, maybe. Paragraph number two. Yeah, greatly. The ball. Thank you. Dawn. The, the dawn or sunrise, the beginning of a day. Does dawn me, you know, say anything to you related to the novel? That's dawn. the name of the character. Exactly. Yes. The, name the, the, name the, character, character. the name of the woman who is telling us our story here. So, I mean, what would you like, what would, what might you say about the, the choice of the name here? Choosing Dawn for the main character, for our protagonist and narrator. Is there any, maybe any message that you might maybe get or read through the novel for choosing Dawn as a name for the main character? Uh, this is me, Aman. I, 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 uh, I gained something from uh, reading, reading this uh, novel, I learned that the, the, the ancient Egyptian used the stars that is called that top to signal uh, when, the, when will the flood come, well, uh, signal uh, yeah. the, like, like that. Exactly, uh, yeah. It says here in paragraph number two that Ancient Egyptians were, were experts in tracking the stars and they even had a solar calendar. And yeah, and they knew how, you know, every and when, every new, every, every I guess every 10 days, say, or uh, every, you know, there are, there is, or there used to be a new group of stars appear in the sky and other, other, uh, other stars disappear. So yeah, they were experts in, in, uh, in tracking the stars and using them as signals, uh, uh, like, the, like the Sothic rising here. Uh, back to the, to the name of the main character here, Dawn. Who'd like to Can say? I try? Yeah, yeah, please, Hazu. Rahma. Oh, Rahma, that's Rahma, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm uh, trying uh, because I, I overlapped. So uh, the name, of down, it was it is two way. There is mm -hmm. the present and the and the past. So we have the mm -hmm. future and the past. So in relation to down, mm -hmm. him him, should I say an impersonator or something of a sort? Like it's a tough one, but I say it's it's the present and the future and. Uh, we have uh, that's in relation to down here. Yeah. That's what I like okay. say. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, May I try? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Uh, okay. Maybe uh, we. Um, okay. When uh, the main character arrived uh, in Egypt, yeah, there are lots of memories which um, comes in your soul, yeah, in your mind. So maybe like dawn, yeah. So when um, we can see the first signs of uh, the sun, yeah. So these mm -hmm. memories, and maybe uh, even it ma uh, it means uh, um, the new part of your life because uh, it was. Uh, 
no, yeah. some kind of uh, converted yeah into another base maybe yeah. so that's all yeah yeah, yeah good can i, mean, I try we're, we're good yeah yeah please i'm the down i uh down i don't know whether she was born at the dawn or the it it uh, the meaning is uh, the new beginning or new hope because it's rising so, so you, think she's, you think she's looking for a new beginning yeah because dawn is uh, related with the rising sun right sunrise yeah mm -hmm. so a new so hope beginning probably, of a new, new day beginning. yes mm -hmm. think so yeah Okay, we're May going to try? keep listening. Yes, please. Uh, I think there's a relation between these two names. I mean, these yeah. two words, down uh, and down the character and down here. Maybe mm -hmm. because here uh, it says every 10 days, blah, 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 after being absent for 70 days, right? Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, the character was in Egypt, but now gets back to Egypt. I mean, I mean maybe that's the you know, the relation between these two. Mm -hmm. It comes so, back. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep this in mind. We're going to keep this in mind. We're going to speak about this sometime later in, uh, in the novel. Uh, the next activity, we're going to continue with vocabulary, but this time we have pictures instead of synonyms or definitions. Picture one to the left. First three lines. Valley. The valley. That's the valley. First one. Very good. Valley. It's a valley. Because Egypt is a valley, you can see stars there like nowhere else. A valley is a flat land between two highlands, between two mountains, let's say. So Egypt, the, the text tells us that Egypt is a valley. And because of this reason, it's easier, it's way easier to track stars. Uh, in Egypt. The second picture. Flood. 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 Very Flood. good. Flood. It says here that because it occurred in the season when the Nile would flood and leave silt to fertilize their crops. And the flood is a noun mm -hmm. and a verb. In, in the text here, it is a verb, but also it can be a noun. Flood. We can see the river here, the mainstream of the river, and the root of the river. But here on the on the river sides or banks, we can see water uh, getting out of the river and onto the uh, the the river banks, uh, covering the land as more land as and so on. And and this was a good sign, and I guess it still is for for Egyptians are uh, for for a good crop. The last picture, mm. picture three. Gravity. Is that a gravity? Right. Uh, yes. Before gravity. that, before that. Not very it's far from gravity. the word flood. Um, okay, uh, maybe silt? the picture is not that silt. clear. It, it's silt? silt. Yeah, it's silt. silt. It's silt. The land, I mean, the soil, after, the, after, the, um, after a flood, when the soil dries silt. up, that's what the land or the soil looks like. That's silt, a deposit or mud, and this is good for farming. It's a kind of a fertilizer, okay? So valley, flood, silt for uh, this activity. Um, now back to the main character, back to Dawn. <laughs> I'd like you please to focus on these, on the, uh, the colored sentences. A star winks at me, she says. I've arrived, I've arrived in Egypt the day of the Sothic rising. And the last sentence, I look up at the sky again, searching for Sothis. Just like the, the in ancient Egyptians, I see it as a sign. What is, in your opinion, what is the writer trying to do here, or the narrator, or Dawn? Is trying to do here. This Aman, uh, the yes, first, Aman. The first sentence, uh, the, 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 he says there, a star winks at me. I think it's it's uh, trying to trying to tell the us uh, that 
the star uh, uh, at the sky is uh, try like appear in <laughs> and appear and go the way and appear go the way and appear back again to I can but you know to to she says you know, it winks at me she says the star is 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 winking or it 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 winks at me. Winks at me. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to draw your attention to. I have arrived in Egypt. I look up. I see it as a sign. Yeah, sign. Yeah, see it. Right. Any any interpretation of this? I see that the the dawn is trying to relate to ancient Egypt somehow. Um, and to relate to the moment, she says, yes, uh, the Sothic rising was very important for ancient Egyptians, but it seems that where I, I've arrived in Egypt at this particular time, there is a sign in it. There is a message in it to me. And the Sothic rising in the third sentence here, the Sothic rising signal rebirth. I know so this I'm on it. Yeah. It, it's uh, about a flood is coming uh, to, to, the, to Egypt, right? Maybe, yeah, flood. Uh, actually, I mean, now it's not the flood or, or the rebirth is not only to ancient Egyptians, but the writer here, Dawn, our main character is relating to herself. Uh, okay, so I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, um, we're just interpreting the, uh, the, the text. We're not explaining. This is just interpretation. And, and I'd like to give you some to give you an opportunity to interpret it your ways. Okay. Can I try? Yes, please. Um, when it says the star winks at me for a moment, mm -hmm. uh, then it's sort of like, before it's it's uh, the sun uh, or the star, oh bad, I'm fumbling, sorry. It is an indicator that, mm -hmm. um, that that at least it gives him it gives him the feel that something like this will happen or in such a particular time i'll see something like this so i'll say it's an indicator yeah, yeah. i see it like you know she maybe she's time. saying that this time the the sothic the sothic rising is for me for dawn the um i mean the rebirth is not for the ancient egyptians it's for me it seems like dawn is looking for a rebirth maybe she's looking for a new life a new chance a new opportunity maybe would anyone like to join me in this point here? Or maybe you might, or maybe you might interpret it differently. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, I think it's like that most of like Thank this. You, uh, when when she said here a star wings at me, it's like she feels like it's the moment. Uh, it's the moment for her. It's it's like oh, this is special. This time especially for me to you know have a rebirth in my life. I think it's, it's something like that. Yeah. And I'd like to remind our dear participants here that the story starts with Dawn having um, a surviving a plane, a crash, and that after the crash, instead of going back to her family, her husband, her daughter, her job in America, she decides to go back to Egypt and to wait her ex-lover, um, it's a place and a person that she hasn't seen for 15 years now. It seems like she's looking for a new life experience maybe. Okay. 
uh, now I'd like you please to focus on, it's um, a grammar activity actually, actually. It's swallowed by the sun. What does it refer to here? Maybe a star? The to the star. The star winks at me for a moment before it's swallowed by the sun. So it refers to the star. What about the apostrophe S? May has. I, may I continue? Is it has? It has. No, it is. Uh, it is. It is. Maybe. It is. Yes. Yeah, very good. It is. It is. The star is swallowed by the sun. Yeah. Well, what type of sentence is this again? Passive. passive voice. That's the passive voice. One more time. The star <laughs> is swallowed by the sun. The star is the subject. We have is, verb to be. Then we have past participle, swallow, swallowed. And we said last lesson that in a passive sentence, the subject is not the doer of the action. Yes. It is the receiver of the action, actually. Mm -hmm. In this sentence, however, we have by the sun. The doer is mentioned at the end of the sentence, but yes. after by, by the sun. Actually, if we want to turn this sentence into active, it should be the sun and swallows swallow. the, the, star. the star. The sun swallows the star. That's the active sentence of it. The passive one is the star is swallowed by the sun. All right, let's move on to uh, the second passage now, passage 11 for today. Now, back to, to the reading aloud. We'd like um, one of you guys to read the first paragraph, the first three lines, maybe. Rahma. Rahma, please. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yal El Bersha is located smack in the middle of Egypt, opposite the town of Malawi on the east of the Nile. Only people authorized by the government are allowed entry because of damage from ancient earthquakes and recent lootings. I stare at the scenery. Oh, oh, thank until you, Rahma. Oh. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Um, let's see, Anipa is raising hands. Okay, thank Anipa? you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I stare at the scenery until I see the familiar rock on, rock out tombs. Yeah. This uh, dozens of uh, tiny metal uh, doors are lined, uh, oh. lined as a straight pole or a row or um, row of limestone. Thank yeah. you. Uh, like a hotel car curved into the walls of the wo of the valley. The valley. Yes. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Would anyone else like to? I mean, maybe, maybe Amans, I see you're raising hands. Um, a yeah, death sure. hotel. The death hotel, two. Yeah. Okay. The overlord. Pick, pick out exactly where I spent. Pick out exactly where I spent. Oh, yeah, I, I see it. Uh, three seasons in in time of the who Jihuti Hotep Jihuti Hotep the second the Jihuti Hotep the second the you over remember? yeah hey, go ahead I'm the, sorry uh, hold on. Uh, the um the overlord of the of hair. the hair no, no. Do you remember? Yeah, sorry to That's interrupt true. you, Amos. Do you remember G Jihuti Hotep the second? Is the king? Yeah. If you if you were with us, the lesson we spoke about the three periods of ancient Egyptian history. Jihuti Hotep the second was the king who started the second kingdom in in Egypt, and. Yeah, this and Thank yeah, you. and we, we also spoke about the game. Do you remember when we spoke about the Game of Thrones? When there were uh, small kingdoms instead of one big kingdom, there were uh, nomas and nomarchs. So 
um, uh, Jihuti Hotep II was a nomarch of the gnome of hair, then he managed to uni unify um, Egypt into one kingdom. Uh, I see Khan wants to read. Uh, below, it, below it, covered with the staging, is the newest, is the newest tomb. Paragraph two, line four. Okay, paragraph. Well, um, below it covered with a uh, uh, staying is uh, is the uh, newest uh, tomb. Yeah. I squint, uh, but I can't see uh, any activity there. Yeah. There is. Uh, isn't um, the no, only that's thing. That's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. Uh, actually, what happened, I just see your screen uh, that uh, in that, and after then, after forward, I can't see because here is, I just see a black shadow. I don't know. I mean, the uh, screen. Okay. okay, yes, please. Okay, thank you, Han. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, anytime, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. So so from there to start? Yes, Vera? please. With my, yeah. Um, say below it, covered with the staging, is the newest tomb. Okay. Uh, I squint, but I can't see any activity there. That's not the only thing that's new in Bersha. There are sp sprawling modern cemeteries that didn't in uh, 2003. Just a little south of the tombs, beside a mosque, there is now a brightly painted church, uh, Captic Christians. Good. Along, uh, may I try more? Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay. Along the banks of the Nile, Egyptian farmers walk on narrow uh, raised paths between their fields or heap the flat fans of date palms into a donkey car mm -hmm. and, and suddenly we are at the um, house I pay the driver at the dig house okay at the dig house okay I pay the driver and step out of the taxi uh, sand flying up around me thank you thank you very much well guys I can't I can't see because I, I you know I had a a technical problem at the beginning of the session, so I can't see your names. Please, if you want to participate, just get, say your name and um, and, and uh, take part and participate. Oh no, I'm sorry. So um, we're going to continue with the uh, passive form that um, we we just talked about. Can you see any passive sentences here in the text? Yes. If let's focus yes. on. Yeah, which one? May I? Yeah. Uh, the government are allowed entry. Yes. Only people authorized by the government are allowed entry, actually. Yeah. Um, any other example? Is there any, any sentence before that one? Before that one? Yeah. Ah, is located, yeah? Is very located. Good. Yeah. Near near is located. Very good. Deir el Barsha is located smack in the middle of Egypt. So we have here Deir el Barsha. Deir el Barsha, as we saw last time, is a village um, where you know they where the the cemetery of uh, ancient Egyptians are. So Deir el Barsha is located smack in the middle of Egypt. So we can see Deir el Barsha, the subject, verb to be is and located is the past participle. The second sentence is, oh, yeah, is that uh, only people authorized by the government are allowed entry into the, into the site here. Any other sentences? Uh, I, Dozens I think of it, tiny metal doors are lined. Yes, are lined up, I guess. Yes, I mean, let me see, because I'm, yeah. Lined, dozens of tiny, tiny means very small. Dozens means, oh no, a dozen means 12. Dozens of tiny metal doors are lined up. Okay, so this is also 
um, this is also a passive sentence. Again, passive means subject plus B plus past participle. Two, the subject does not do the action, but receives it. Uh, maybe one more question about the passive before moving on. Uh, when can we, or when do we need to use the passive? That's a general question, May not I? from the text. Yes, please. May <laughs> Okay. Uh, we usually use passive voice when we don't need to know who is the subject uh, of the sentence. Uh, for example, we, don't, uh, we are not interested in doer. Uh, or we try to maybe, um, uh, maybe a subject is very large sometimes, or maybe uh, we try to emphasize and uh, that's why we use it at the end by, you know, for example, this book is written by and we name the author of this book. Yeah, that's right. I would, I would say there are three um, three ways to use the passive. One, if we don't know who did the action, like when I wake up in the morning and I find the window, one of the windows broken, I don't know who did that. I can say somebody broke the window or I can just the window was broken last night, but I don't know who did that. So if, if we don't know the doer, we can, we can use the passive voice. The second one is when the doer is very known. Everybody know about it. Everybody knows about it. Like uh, when I say a new bridge was built. Now, who builds bridges? It's the government, it's the state, let's say. So I don't, you know, the doer is known to everybody and I don't, I don't need to, to mention the doer in the sentence. So either the, the doer is unknown or it is very known. And the third one is when I want to emphasize the action instead of the doer of that action. Like uh, what is important for me, the action itself. When I say, for example, a new bridge was built, I want to focus on the bridge, not on the government that built that bridge. So three possibilities, the doer is unknown, the doer is very known, so known that I don't need to mention it, everybody knows about it, or um, I want to emphasize, I want to focus more on the action rather than uh, who did that action. Okay, more words? Paragraph number one, fiction number one. Would like to give a try to uh, picture one to the left. Yes, please. I think that's damage. Damage? Or, er, mm. Damage. Oh, sorry, sorry. Earthquake. Earthquake. Very good. Earthquake. Earthquake. Yeah. It says here that only people authorized by the government are allowed entry because of damage from ancient earthquakes. And picture number two, not very clear, but we can see that. Are they shopping? Are, are these people <laughs> doing the shop? Yes? Yeah, looting, looting, looting. 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 Looting is a breaking into um, a mall, a, a supermarket, and just I mean, it happens mainly during uprising. Can you hear me? Yes, clear. Good. Yeah, good. Thank you. The last picture now. I'm going to make it. <laughs> Yeah, do you remember we saw this picture? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, rock cut tomb, the famous rock cut tombs here. But but I mean that's Dir el Bersha, actually. This is the, the real place. But but today I want you to focus on, on the hill the rocky hill. Can you see the liners? The liners? Yeah, abrasion. Yeah, I'd, I'd like you to look for, in paragraph number two this time, for the adjective about this mm. liners in, in the mountain. 
these line is here. I mean, these line is here. Try to draw a bright like star. Yeah. Try, try yes, try, try it. it. Try, try it. to draw a limestone. Hey, yes, triated means with liners or curves. Liners. Yeah, with liners. Yeah, that's the clue, the row. Row. Mm, yeah, striated row of limestone. It's a type of, of rock. Uh, same line, we have like a hotel uh, carved into the walls of the wadi, the valley. The word wadi here. Hmm. What, uh, what do you think it means? Wadi, is it English? It isn't. It's not. Like Arabic. It is, yes. It's Egyptian. Ah! It's Arabic. Wadi means valley. Wadi valley. Is That's Arabic an Arabic and word, also. an Egyptian word for valley. A valley or a wadi. And this is what uh, Judy Pico is doing here in addition to introducing um, some information in about ways. ancient Egyptian culture. She's also introducing some Arabic Egyptian words. Language. Language, yes. Language. And, uh, in, in her previous, in her next, I'm sorry, in her following book, I wish you were here. She also does the same, but with, I guess, with the Spanish. Mm. Okay. Wadi the Pali. Wadi means valley, yes. Okay. We have um, Waduk here, not Wadi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, right. <laughs> That's a okay. bit different, Nani. <laughs> <laughs> Similar, okay. you know, the, the, the uh, pour the water. <laughs> you silly. Uh, uh, maybe. Nani, <laughs> <laughs> the, skin will, the skin will be broken when you are laughing. Okay. Okay, we still have only less than 15 minutes. Let's go ahead. So find a word. It's an, ad an adverb here, means exactly, precisely. Smack. Smack. Would you please read the whole sentence? I cannot because there is black. What about now? What about now? <laughs> okay. okay. Dar el Bersha is located smack in the middle of Egypt. Exactly. Smack or exactly or precisely in the middle of Egypt. Mm -hmm. something uh, okay smack i don't know wait a minute wait a minute okay smack means uh, exactly um cut or engrave paragraph number two this time something that is cut or engraved in a rock or in a carved. yes can you say that again carved carved very good paragraph two line two uh, the, um, the, 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 the doors, it says here, are lined up in a striated row of limestone like a hotel carved into the walls of the wadi or the valley. The, um, I mean, the, the, the tombs are carved into the wall. They are rock-cut tombs. Actually, we explained this last time. They're rock-cut tombs means tombs cut into the rock. So carve it or engrave it in the rock. And the last word, again, is the same paragraph, paragraph number two, a Maybe. verb this squint. time to, to narrow squint. your, yeah, to squint. You narrow, when you want to see something better and you squint your eyes, you narrow your eyes to see better. Right, to squint. Okay, so smack, carved, and squint. Okay. All right. Um, this is Amira. May, yes, Amira, uh, please. May, yeah. yeah. Mm, about uh, vocab squint, that's meaning mm -hmm. um, different uh, in medical field. Squint, some uh, disease uh, happened in the eye, uh, seeing the double uh, thing. If you see, um, for example, car, you see double car because you are squint, you oh, know. Great. Well, oh, nice. great. Thank you for the addition. Double vision, double so vision. It's a, so it's an adjective, it seems, right? If you are squint, means you see, you see things twice. 
Yes. Uh, okay. Double fusion. Thank, yeah. thank you very much. That's a good addition. Thank you. Um, okay, um, let's see how much time we still have. Oh, right, one more thing about um, which sentence I was thinking about. Yes, you said end of paragraph number number two below it covered with the staging is the newest tomb. I squint, but I can't see any activity there. Okay, there isn't any activity there. I can't see any activity there. What would we need to change if we made it, I can see instead of I can't see? I know, I know this, Aman, I could. Yeah, 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 go ahead. I squint, but I could see any. No, no, no. Uh, uh, we're, we're done with the squint. We've, we've explained squint already. Now that's something different. It's a grammar. The sentence okay. says, says, I can't see any activity there. If, if, if instead of I can't, I cannot, if we had I can, can you change the sentence accordingly? I, um, I, I can see nothing. Let's, let's, let's see with Nani. Okay. Nani, would you please go ahead? I am able to see anything, any activity there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a grammar. I am not. Uh, how would, I'm not how able. would you say? How would you say if it is, if it was I can instead of I can't? I couldn't. I can't see nothing. I can see I can. nothing. I can. Nothing. Right. Activity. I can see nothing. Nothing. Uh, yeah, no activity. Uh -huh. I can yeah, see no, no activity. activity there instead of any. Yeah. Uh, we no. Should, should replace any by no. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Clear now. Yeah. I can see any activity. Now, if it is positive, if it is positive. If we want to change it from negative to positive, I can see. I would say I can see multiple activity. Multiple, or think about another word very related to any. No. Positive, no. some. Some, no. very good. Some it should be some. I can see. Yeah, some there are partners, some and there. any. Yeah, Nani, great, thank you. I can see some activity there. So let's let's try to deduce the rule here. When shall we use any, and what shall we use? Negative, some? some positive. So some must be used in positive sentences. Yes. And any. Or negative sentences. Negative, negative sentences or. Questions. 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 Very good. Yeah. Should be used in negative sentences or questions. To oh, but sometimes we can to use. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we can use any in positive sentences too, especially with food, but not only with food. Uh, for example, when you, no, um, um, for example, you can choose any book from this uh, bookshelf. Yeah, yeah you that's can a take different any meaning. Book. Yes, that's a yes, different, different meaning. meaning. Yeah. yeah, but but you're correct, you both. Thank you. Yeah. They use any meaning, what, but yes, you can't use. What any about book. a lot? What about a lot? A lot of activity? Yeah. Yes. A lot is also possible. I can see a lot, a lot of, of activity. activity. Yes, also a lot is possible. And what although, about me? Although it has a different meaning. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. A lot can means we use a many lot, a lot means many. I'm sorry? Many? Many? Can many. Use... Uh, it, what do you think? Shall we use many? I can't see uh, many activities there. And in this case, we should say many activities. Yeah, plural. It should be the plural. Yes, activities. Right? In this case, it should be many activities because yes. many is used with countable nouns, yes. plural forms, right? Yes. Some, however, goes with both, with countable yes. and uncountable nouns. I can say some. Um, some money. Some, I can some say some students. money, but I can also say some children or some yeah. students, right? So some goes with both. Same with any, but many goes only with um, countable nouns. A yes. lot of, I guess, also goes with both, right? Yeah, a lot of. Okay. 
That was, um, we still have five minutes. And actually, um, I ran out of activities here, but I'd like, um, uh, I'd like to hear from you. I mean, uh, any feedback or any, any comments that, we, that you'd like to share with the group? Mokhtar, this is Frida. Yes, Frida, please. Yes. How, many, how many more pages left? Five minutes. Please, no, how, how many more pages? Pages, left? pages. Oh, a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but we can, of course, we can skip. If you, if you start feeling <laughs> bored with the book, we can skip passages. I can share the passages on the book of two ways, if James permits this. But, um, <laughs> of course, and we can just read them, but we can just skip passages and choose some of the passages that we can work on. We don't need to just to read all the book together. What do you think, Frida? What, what do you think? Shall we just skip passages? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. I'm not oh. avoiding the process, but truly it's painful. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you very much. It's, um, it's so, Mukhtar, yeah. I think yeah. it's truly painful when you hit us with the grammar. I feel I should go back and ask for fees, tuition I paid in school because it's quite challenging. I see, <laughs> but yeah. I last it. The feedback I have is I, I didn't know we squint our eyes, so that's a good one on me. Thank you. So you're you're okay with seeing the grammar items? Um, <laughs> every yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Thank Absolutely, kill us with grammar every day. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, but I then, like the way you uh, explain uh, the topic here uh, from the beginning into the deeper understanding and then some feedback of grammar. It is complete the whole cake there. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an excellent technique or method on teaching uh, reading. You use any knowledge of reviewing pictures, helping to give them more understanding with the words and also identifying what is it on the text, uh, uh, typical grammar that we have, uh, 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 some uh, quantifier, any, some mm -hmm. like that. That's it to really deep teaching method and like complete, complete you, and yeah. complex. Yeah. yeah. Good are job. You, you know, are you thinking of reading maybe another book for Judy Pico? Is do you find the book um, you know, attractive enough to encourage, maybe encouraging enough to- I love all reading? the topic you've given. The, the problem with me, the time and the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I can read too short, a PDF and they're quite thick, not enough time. But I enjoy well, I every session. I can I, easily guess by the text. I wouldn't recommend PDF. I would recommend um, uh, EPUB, extension EPUB? schedule. EPUB instead of PDF. EPUB uh, are much more comfortable than PDF mm. because you can just change the um, the size of the letters. You can. Yeah. You know, it gives you a lot of opportunities. So if you, I mean, so I you use PDF or EPUB or Mobi? No, I don't use PDF. I prefer EPUB and Mobi. M O B R. Okay. I'll also. check on Discord. More, yeah. Yeah, and you can just you can just download applications for. Uh, for, mm -hmm. for these mm -hmm. kind of um, of files. Okay, great. Okay. Well done. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you next Friday. And yeah. Thank you, Mukhtar. It was yeah, excellent. Thank you. Thank thank you. It was thank good. You. It was awesome. awesome. Thank you, Mukhtar. Okay, Frida, have you been killed by the grammar? <laughs> I need extra to pen adults today. I hate grammar. <laughs> Right. Okay. So back to you, James, back to the group. Thank you, Mukhtar. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so we are starting a board of directors meeting now for 90 minutes, for 60 minutes, open to the board. And then the final 30 minutes, it's open to anybody. Um, the board of directors, who are they? Who are we? Board of directors is seven people, me, Nelly, Mukhtar, Ahmed, Mohammed Ejbara, Claudette, and Fatime. 
And I see, uh, I think everyone except Fatime. All right, I have no news from Fatima, so we will continue as um, scheduled. I am the chair for today. Um, other people are welcome to participate as silent observers for the first 60 minutes. And Mohammed Ejbara, do you have an agenda for us? Oh, oh unfortunately, I don't have any. Okay. Would any board members like to bring agenda items now? Yeah, I'd like I would, to. Go ahead. This is Nelly from Germany. I'd like to talk about what James has written in the James Office channel. Okay. Any other agenda items? This is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Actually, I'd like to add two agenda items. Mohammed, are you yeah. taking are you taking notes? Yeah, sure, I'm doing so. Okay, go ahead, so Mohammed. One, yeah, one is thinking about um, a process, a removal process for group members. If we, uh, I mean, see how to do that, like um, accept, admitting new members, there there should be a, a process of removing members from the group. And my second point is about, um, you know, I, I see James, sometimes you, you close the Discord channels and the different mass, uh, social media channels. Um, if I'd like some clarification about, um, you know, why this is done and how to maybe, maybe mm -hmm. to avoid Great. any reason, yeah. That's three items. Uh, any so, other agenda items? Silence means no. Okay, let's begin. Who would like to start? This is Nelly. Um, I'd like to reflect what I heard you say, James. Um, You'd like to reflect what I wrote in James's office in Discord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's right. Um, I think you were responding to Shifani, who said that she's going to take a break from electronic devices and including this group. And then you said that you would like members who plan to leave this group to take four weeks to explore the desire to, to leave the group. Mm. And also that um, I think you're talking about Shifani's group that she's closing, she's planning to close it in about 60 minutes or something like that, or 30, 30 minutes. minutes. 30 minutes. From now. Mm -hmm. And um, you see that some of the members in James Green's English classroom are also members in Shifani's uh, group. Mm -hmm. And you perceive that um, as uh, not making a decision, sitting on the fence about what those members want to do, including me? About, be, about being a member in this group. Yeah, I see ah. it as sitting on the fence about a decision to be a member in this group. Mm -hmm. And so you, are, you made a plan to remove those members from the James Green's English classroom group. Uh, at the same time, Shifani's group ends or that's right. Yeah, that's closed. right. Do you is did I get you? Um yes, the um maybe the detail that I'd like you 
uh, that you missed is that it's for the it would be for the month of August. The mm -hmm. removal would be for the month of August because I'd like people to commit to one month, right? So I'm asking people to not just leave suddenly, but to explore the desire to leave over four weeks. But if people say, no, thanks, I don't want to, I'm just out of here. I, I'm not saying, well, you can never come back, but I don't want people coming in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'm saying, okay, fine. You, you're not agreeing to explore for four weeks. That's, I can't stop you but then you can't come back in for the remainder of the month, which would be until September. Mm. So um, you are thinking of how you want to deal with members who just leave without exploring for four weeks that they that's, want to leave. That's right. And um with those members, you, you're you okay with if they leave. You don't like it, but that's what they do. And the, the way you want to respond to them doing that is that you want to, um, to keep the doors shut for them for one month until beginning of September. And then they can come in back in. So it's not so much oscillation. Yeah, I'd like I'd like the coming and going to happen at the start of the month to bring in new members and for people to leave at the end of the month, rather than all the time kind of not knowing who's in the group, who's not in the group at, at any moment of the day. So um, what you want is that members stay for a whole month and then leave at the end of the month. Um, and you also just want to take in new members at the beginning of the month. And you want to, you can't really um, prevent people from leaving, but you can set a barrier that people can only join the group uh, in at the beginning of the month. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's what good. you want to do. That's good enough. That's good enough. I don't want to go into all the details of my thinking, but that's good enough, Nelly. Mm -hmm. This, I'm sorry, I'd, I'd like to ask. Well, is this... hold on a second, because yeah. Nelly is reflecting, and so she has the floor now to speak. Would you hold off until N Nelly's finished? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. So somehow, um, it seems that uh, me and Nani, I think, and maybe some others. Uh, I don't recall who all. Um, being... Well, maybe that's important. Maybe that's important. I, let, I'd like you to to know who it is. I'd I'd like you to know who it is. Um, it's Shifani, Nani, Aso, Aldori, Tim, Nargiz, Chris Maru, Nelly. Afros, Emilio, Venus, and then Himanshu, Sina, Sammy, Nora, Amina, and Fatima. Okay. Is it okay if I don't repeat the yeah, name? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So, so there's a couple of people um, who are in both groups in this moment. And um, being in both groups um, seems to be the same for James as making the decision to leave the James Green's English classroom group. That's my mind read of, of what you're thinking. Is that true, James? Uh, yes. So next, Andrew, um, if I leave the group now, <laughs> would that change anything? The Shifani's group? Yes. Hmm. Do you believe me? Sure. How does it feel to... Um, okay, so we have some participation happening in the chat from 
non-board members. I'm shutting off the chat. Um, Nelly, how do you feel having checked your mind read and finding that your map of reality that you're 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 guessing correctly, we're on the same page. Mm. I feel mm. <laughs> remember, remember, Nelly, this is the question is discovering that you're accurately mm -hmm. seeing what's happening, mm -hmm. not the content. You're not mm -hmm. checking about how you feel about the content. You're checking about how you feel, checking your map mm -hmm. of reality. Mm -hmm. hmm. um yeah i'm happy about having fi finding out that my what what i assume is actually the truth mm -hmm. and how do you feel towards me closer further away or about the same Closer. <clears throat> Say anyone else or keep going. Hmm. I'd like to keep going. Um, I'm member of both groups. I've been a member of Shifani's group before. I even this group even existed. <laughs> and I see a lot of value in James Green's English classroom group and I'm not really using Shifani's group so it doesn't make sense for me to stay there and if it facilitates work in this group and if it like it seems it enables me to continue working in this group so it's an obvious choice that I'm gonna leave Shifani's group and that's what I'm planning to do before in the, within the next 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not, what I don't understand is why it's making <laughs> work easier, but hmm. um, I trust that James knows. And uh, So, Nelly, may I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let, let me just be clear. I'd, I'd like you to leave Shifani's group. I'd like everybody on that list to leave Shifani's group. Now, you can do whatever you want. Well, you said that yeah. you consider me as not being part of, or like leaving my man member role of James Green's English classroom group if I remain a member in Shifani's group. And that I don't want to do. Sorry, what is that? You don't want to do what? Well, you don't you don't want to leave your member role in this group. I don't want. Yes, mm -hmm. I don't see how I'm leaving it. But I, I see that you as le the group leader of this group sees me leaving the my member role. And I, see, I also hear that as group leader, you're planning to remove my membership in the group to make it official that I'm no longer a member because you see me not being a member here. So I want to stay a member here. So I actually have to, it, it's my agency and I need to act now <laughs> because if I don't, then I, I lose the membership here. You're, it's not, you're not speaking about a desire to remove me or speaking about a plan to remove me from this group. No. That's how I understood. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm sorry that it's, it, it's a little complex. It is. It is a little. It is a little convoluted. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to come to an agreement because that's what if we we didn't bring it in, but the the game is red light green light, and in red light green light we're talking about a traffic light. Now, uh, some people think that games are fun and they can be fun, but sometimes games are deadly. Games of nuclear disarmament or 
you know, driving through a red light and thinking it's a green light is a deadly game. And I'd like to come to an agreement about if the light is green or if the light is red, because if we don't find a way to come to an agreement about this, it can be disastrous. Can I try to summarize you? Yeah. Okay. So um, you are, uh, you want us, the group, to have a shared understanding about um, some vital uh, r rules in the game. If we um, do something, if we take some actions in the game that are re really creating a dangerous situation to understand that and see the danger and choose to not go into the danger. Yeah. May, may, I, may I say one thing about that, Nelly? Just because I think it, it might help you. Um, if you remember, there was maybe two or three weeks ago when I closed the Discord for a few hours and you said to me, I had to, I can't remember if you messaged outside of the group or in private or something. You, mess, you messaged outside of the group and you said, you there, you frozen. I'm back. You said, well, I had to do it because you closed Discord. This private conversation with Ahmed? Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, you had a private conversation with Ahmed and I said, well, I, I closed Discord. And you said, well, I had to do it because you forced me to by closing Discord. It's the same issue. So the, qu the question is for you and for other people in Shafani's group, do you have to, do you have to do it because I'm closing Discord? Do you have to, do you have to leave because I'm closing Discord or, or are we working together on closing Discord? Okay, so you you are bringing another example that goes in the same direction as the issue with Shifani's group, mm -hmm. and it's about um, when there are spaces in the group that get closed, like the Discord server or Zoom. In addition, you're breaking um, up, now, what, Nelly. What happened? So you're back. Was it? Audible, or should I repeat what I said? Say it again. Okay. So you're bringing us a second example that is in the same line uh, as the, and it's just about if there's uh, spaces in the group are closed, then is it necessary to go to other places? Mm -hmm. Um. If, yeah, here's the thing, the um, exact, exactly, Nelly. If you, you're a board member, Ahmed is a board member. If you are designating me as the space master for Discord and I'm closing Discord and then you're saying to me, well, James, you didn't, you closed Discord and I needed to do something. So I just did what I needed to do. Then you're actually not delegating me as the space master. You're... In that moment, you're taking away my my designation as space master and creating your private conversation with Ahmed, your private conversation with Shifani and Shifani's group, or other people might do a similar thing. Now I don't know. There might be a hundred. There might be a hundred other groups. I I'm just using this as an example of what it means for us as the board of directors or as the group to be on the same page about are am are you a member of my group? Are we working together and are we in agreement? Or as soon as I don't do something you like, you go into your person role and you do whatever you want. Okay, so this, uh, my conversation with Ahmed and uh, Shifani's group um, are examples for private conversations that happen. Um, and you, you are the person who is responsible or who is taking the responsibility for hosting the spaces of the group. And we are giving you that authority 
the board members are giving you that, that authority. And then also we are taking it away from you again if we don't uh, follow what you are deciding as Space Master. Exactly. Yeah, I recall that conversation with Ahmed, where which he initiated and asked me whether, oh, the group's stopping and I'm so in panic. <laughs> and I was responding to that, yeah. And um, because, yeah, like this caretaker role, I, I wanted to just make it less horrible for him because I thought, oh, it's he's feeling he's having a bad experience. I wanted to to uh, fix that. <laughs> you're right in the you're right in the boat with Shifani. A lot of the people who were added to that list for her group, if you remember, Shifani said she's worried about them. She wants to take care of them. She's worried that I'm a horrible teacher. I might destroy their lives or something. And so she she went in private and invited them into her safety group. So you're right in the boat with Shifani, where she was at least when that group was, you know, filled with some of our members. Yeah. And um, yeah, I since realized that I don't want to do that, that it's not, I, I don't like um, taking my work outside of, into a private space. I, I want to use the group spaces and I want to work with the space master or the person who hosts those spaces to get what I want from those spaces. I, and and uh, along those lines, I really want to emphasize that, that I really see myself as being a servant of the board of directors. If the board got together and said, hey, we don't really like the way James is um, doing Discord, I think we could do it better. I will happily hand over authority to Discord to you, to the, to the board to, you know, do it differently than me. I can only do the best that I can and report back to you about how well I'm doing and what I'm doing. I was away again. You were away. Well, it's, yeah. Back <laughs> to I you, think, Nelly. Okay. Um, I just want to say that I really like the way you're hosting the spaces and it works for me. Especially <laughs> reducing the information flow is really very, um, very useful for me. It helps me. Um, it helps me bring in my energy to to the group and also to my private life. It's very healthy for me, and I support you to continue to be a space master. And I'm gonna leave Shifani's group. Okay, yeah, say I anyone else. Yeah, anyone else? This is Mukhtar from Tunisia. I'd like to check, James, if you're threatening people. Would you summarize it? Nelly? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. She's been summarizing you when she said uh, it's fine for her. Whatever you do is fine for her. Would you talk and to Nelly? That's what, I mean... Nelly, you've been saying that it's fine, you're satisfied with the way James is running Discord. And you see, it's, it's good for the group and for your interests. Yes, thank you. Right, thank you, thank you. So James, I see- You're bringing in a difference, Mukhtar? Would you check I'm, I'm, with- I'm the... checking, I'm checking, I'm, I'm checking with you because would I need you check, to- uh, some, Would some... you check with the whole board of directors if it's okay to bring in a difference? That's what you. That's what you have done, not the board of directors. Uh, I, you know, you're what, arguing you know, with. You're arguing with but, me now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not arguing with you. But, yes, you uh, are I mean, arguing with me. So how should I say that? I mean, I'd like to bring in the difference. Is the board of directors ready to move on? This is the same idea. I'm. I'm just. I need more clarification because I haven't read what you've written. And it's in you. So you're to in. Me. So you're in total support of what I'm doing. No, I need to check. No, first. that's what makes it a difference. I need to check first. I need clarification <laughs> so that I decide if I'm supporting or not. Well, that's still a difference. If you don't, blindly, James, I if can't you do don't, that just blindly. I mean, I need more clarification. That's it. 
And I guess, well, I'm not going to speak on behalf of the rest of the group, but uh, I need more clarification to see if I'm supporting, if I'm joining or not. Can I do that? Can I clarify? Can I check? Let's see. What would you like to check? Right. Are you threatening members of the group to be removed from the group unless they leave Chifani's group? No. Do you so believe me? You please... Do you do you believe me? Yeah, I mean, uh, I believe you, but I need. Okay, I need you don't believe me. The but, the but, I need more explanation means you don't believe me. Would you check with yourself? and say yes or no without a but. Do you believe me? I'm telling you that I'm not threatening to remove members from my group if they don't leave Shifani's group. Yes, fine. If this is not the case, then it's okay. How does it feel to check your mind read and find out that your map was wrong? You thought I was threatening people and you're finding out I'm not threatening people. Yeah, I need I need details, more details. You know, you're that's still what with now. you're still with wanting an explanation, which is yeah. different. It's different. You want an explanation for me? It's understandable. Yeah, that's it. But it's different. No, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's not the case that you're not threatening people to be yeah, removed but Mokhtar, from the disco. The, unless... the, the the desire for the explanation is going to bring you like a big slingshot right back into not being happy. So. I mean, uh, yeah, if it is the case, because that's what I've understood. Uh -huh. I've understood. You don't want I've me understood. to threaten people. Who wants me that's to threaten your... people? That, yes, I, you want to check? Is, is there anybody here who would like me to threaten people? We don't like you to, threat, to threaten yeah. people. I, I, right. On the opposite. I see but you have an idea. I see you it, have... Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's if true. it is correct, then for me, that's humiliating. That's unjust. That's mm. modern slavery. Terrible. I mean, how modern you slavery. Know, what, what, yeah, okay. Now that you said you're not threatening people, then then I'm happy that I was wrong about it. Then I need more details so that I can understand it better and see how to react. That's it. I mean, what details would you like? Um, I mean, it seems I was wrong. You know, uh, so then I need the right thing. I need to be, um, you know, uh, I need to be corrected. So what are we, let's say I'm a member in Chifani's group now, okay? I'm a member in Chifani's group. What am I required to do? I have no idea. It's not this group. That's what, I mean, that's what <laughs> Nanny, that's what Nanny has been talking all the time. I mean, she, and she even decided to leave the group because she, you know, she can't, she, it seems that she can't be in both the groups uh, under the new rule. Is this it? I mean, Mokhtar, that's what I want to say. Mokhtar, yeah. I, have, I have not heard that from Nani. So you might have some information from Nani that I don't have. However, let, can oh, we- Nelly, can we, Nelly, not ne Nelly. Oh, Nelly, 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 got it. Yeah. Nelly, have you said that you're thinking of leaving Chifani's group in the next 15 minutes? Mokhtar, I'm gonna jump in. Hmm? Okay. This is not, we're not here to interrogate Nelly. No, I'm checking, checking. You're not checking. Yes. If you're gonna check, here's the way we check. First, we own our belief. What's your belief? I believe that Nelly said that she's going to leave. She's, I don't know, she's planning to leave. She follows the group in the, in the next 15 minutes. Well, that's, so that's not that your belief. Get, get to the chase. Yeah, yes. Nelly said she's leaving Stefani's group in the next 15 minutes. Go ahead. Because she, because she wouldn't, um, she wouldn't like to leave, uh, to, to be removed from Discord group. Great. That's the Discord. mind read. That, go ahead. Check that with Nelly. I'm checking with her. Nelly, please. Have you said, I've, I've heard you saying that you're planning to, to leave Stefani's group because you don't want to lose your role here in, uh, in Discord, mainly that you're not getting any real benefits from Shifani's group. Am I right? Did you say that? 
No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, when, if you're checking a mind read, check a mind read. If it, if it's have something you, have look, I have I understood you correctly? Hmm. Shall I repeat myself? You are asking if that is what I said before? Yeah. Or if that is what I'm. I can't hear you, but yes, I'm asking if this is what you said. Hmm. I'm back, it seems. I'm not sure I understand your question, Mokhtar. I certainly did say those words. Mm -hmm. And it's not what I'm planning to do now anymore. So what is not what you're planning to do? What What are you planning to do? I'm. You want to know what I'm planning to do? You just told us what you're not planning to do. It, it might be helpful to tell us what, what, what you're talking about. Um... <laughs> I'm planning to leave Shifani's group. I'm not planning to do it two minutes ago. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. And I'm not planning to do it because I'm afraid of being removed from the joining game group of <laughs> James Green's English classroom group for the month of August. Did you get an answer to your question, Mukhtar? Okay, yeah. And I still need details, maybe. You need more decision. explanation. We always yeah. need more explanation. Yeah. The desire for explanation is endless. Mm -hmm. And the question is, when will you take up your authority to create explanation rather than require it from me? Can you tell me what I said? Can you tell me what I said? Yeah, you say you're saying that um, you're wondering when I would take my authority to make uh, to give explanations instead of uh, getting them asking and, for them from you. And of course, I'm not just talking to you, Mokhtar. I'm talking to everybody in the group mm -hmm. because you know people like to ask me for you know. Uh, for the authorities for various things to know things to do things and stuff yeah, and exactly. um huh and that that's my problem with you james giving away your authority to me no i don't like i don't like to give away my authority what, to you what's or the i problem? don't like any other members of the group to do that i guess um, well it starts of... with you mokhtar yeah. it starts with you so yeah. if <laughs> You, I mean, you don't you don't like it when other people give their authority to me. I don't like myself to give and any, you don't like it when you my, do. yeah, yes. I don't like yes. to yes. myself to give any of my authority to you as, yes. a, as a yeah. member of the board of directors. And I don't like any of the other members yeah. to do that as well. Yeah. I don't like to see people yeah. saying we are happy with everything you do, James. <laughs> I mean we yeah, I can I can yeah. I can I can't can stand it. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's mind-boggling. Why would you, people you just close, do you things close the mindlessly? Channels, you close the challenge. Yeah. We're happy with what you do. Anything did. he Actually, does. He hung them up by their fingernails myself. in the trees. That's fine. Exactly. You know, yeah, whatever fine. he did, I, that is okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, James. <laughs> just, I mean, I see you've forgotten about <laughs> one channel. Go and close it, please, for us. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, so. Yeah. Great. You have some concerns about people mindlessly doing anything I want. I hope. Yes. So what you could do, you're not really in that boat of, of just doing anything that I say. Although you could, you could probably find your part of yourself that does that. You know, the, the the compliant subgroup 
is the same exact coin as the defiant subgroup. It's just the other side. When we do, when we don't know how we feel, we, we, um, it's part of a group stage of group development called the intimacy phase. We either, anything that the leader says is bad. They can do nothing right. And the other side is the one that you're worried about. Anything that the leader does, it's okay, it's wonderful. And of course, both of those are a kind of cognitive distortion. They're a warping of what's really going on because there's some things we like and there's some things we don't like. But, but we, get, we get into a mindset, we can get into a mindset where we block out everything good or we block out everything bad. And that creates some very serious problems. So it's good to be concerned about it. And it's good for I'm talking about it. Third path Can you tell me what I'm I said? Not, Can I'm you tell me what I said first before yeah, you, you said yeah. that? You said that, I mean, being totally against and being totally for is it's the like uh, two faces of the same coin. Yeah. And I'm not in any of these. I'm not in any of these. I'm taking a third path here. You know, if, if you, yeah, if you do something that I really appreciate, I would say that to you. And it happened more than once. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you do something that I don't understand or I don't agree with, then I would tell that to you. Great. I mean, this is my, yeah. I'm, I'm I, taking my role. I'm taking I see my it. role. In the I see it. I see you doing, I see it. I see that. Say anyone else or keep going. Yeah, anyone else. Well, I still I still need more explanation. More explanation, sure. Yeah, but yeah, anyone else. What do, well, oh, okay. What what is the what is the explanation you'd like? Because that might be useful. You'd like, an a... you'd like an explanation about my crazy red light, green light plan. No, I misunderstood no? it. I misunderstood right. it. You said what would you, you like wrong, explanation about? I'd like to, to know the, the 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 I mean the right version of it. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. I, I just made it up. I don't. I don't know what it is. It it sounds kind of cool. Red, and, uh, and green. I'm sorry, James. I'm, I'm I, sorry. I like. I like to make you, it clear that. See how quickly. I, See how quickly the explanation is coming and he just cuts me oh, off. No, no, I, I Let said me that... explain for God's sakes. Yeah, yeah. This, okay. fine, this fine. is red but light, I... green light, right? You're like, but... please explain. I got four words out and you're like, well, shut up, James. Let me say no, something. No, 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 no. This is yeah. not the case. No, no, no. This is not it. I mean, I just, just, it is a piece of information that it, I, you, know, you, you do that sometimes yourself that you yeah, think but of. Yeah, I do it in something. the, I do it in the role as chair. Uh, I yeah. do it. It's, excuse me, it's my job as chair. To clarify, if you get out of your car while I'm doing street direction and you say, hey, I can do that too. I'll just oppose you and do it the other way. Then we have a problem, right? Okay. So either I'm the chair or you're the chair, but you're we're not going to chair at the same time. You're the so chair. And I'm, okay, I'm if sorry. you're complaining. Sorry, I'm okay, I back up. Just, um, yeah, I need the explanations. Okay, that's it. Like I said, the explanation is I want to clarify because I, as the, as the um, host of the group, I see people like Nani, like Shifani, like Nargiz, and potentially other people coming in and out of their role as members, sharing information about what I'm doing in Discord in other spaces. And that's what I call a leak. It's a problem. It's nothing personal about them. They might even have no idea why it's a problem for the group. But in my job, in my role as the space master trying to create a container for the group, it's a very serious problem. And the board of directors is not joining me on that. It's not seeing the, the, the threat. And so I am acting in my role as space master to plug the hole. People are, people are sending information, private information from our group out into these other groups. Well, plug the hole. Either you're in or you're out. Either you're working in the group or you're working outside of the group. You can't work inside the group when somebody's listening to you and then, and then work outside of the group when somebody's disagreeing with you. That is working outside of the group. And I need to plug that hole. Can somebody tell me what I said?
Yeah. Shall I? I want to no, try. No, no, no. We're working in the board of directors now. Okay. No, you asked me to come in. That's why. I didn't ask you to come in. To the meeting. I did not ask you to come to the meeting. James, <clears throat> you're, you see, oh, well, you didn't ask Shifani to participate in this meeting and now is not the time for non-board mem members to speak. And in my also, role as space master, don't get distracted by Shifani. In my role as space master, if people in the group are sharing information that's happening inside the group, out in these other groups, and I'm aware of it, I think it's important to plug that hole so that information stays in the group for the value of the group. Hmm. Um, From Mexico? Okay. Well, um, I can, I want you, to you're going to have to, you're going to have to negotiate with Nelly, Nelly. right now. Cause uh -huh. yes, Nelly, I, I want to join with criteria. You. you haven't spoken yet. No. So I, I see to you that you can summarize James. Yes. I can say about James. Um, well, he said many things that I am not Talk so to much me. aware. Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you what I said. If you didn't get it. Uh -huh. you, you talk about something like uh, we don't understand what's going on because you were um, checking what's going on in many groups and you see that the information is not concentrated in one, uh, in one place. And you see that there is a subgroup that this information is just going and that is not helpful for you to continue working and see the development faster in the group. Am I right, James? Yeah, there's a few people in the group, mm -hmm. like Shifani, Nargiz, Nani, and there's been others in the past who are mm -hmm. taking things that are going on in the group and leaving the group and telling other people, you know, James does this and James does that. And look, James is doing this right now inside our group. And that's a whole. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, because I'm asking for people, if you're in our group, to, to talk about what's going on in the group inside our group, rather than taking it into another place and talking about what we're doing. And if I see that hole, I want to plug it up for the value, for the benefit of our group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um, can you get that? Yeah, I can get that. And uh, I can get that you want to have the value of the group, that everything that has to be discussed in the group and doesn't go in another space. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Well, I, and I also heard about you like a lot of drama. <laughs> I, I sometimes I love drama, drama, but sometimes I hate drama. What's the drama? Drama for me is like uh, going no, in this in this case. Uh huh. Drama in this case is like you have like a bottle of water and you're making a storm in just a bottle of water. It's so so simple. Like, um, uh, what is the drama here? Like. We have just to go one direction or go in another direction. And if you don't do uh, one direction, that means people feel threatened and feel like they have to have a choice. And that's the drama because they have just to take. What is the choice that people, desire. what is the choice? The desire, the desire of the person. You are not pushing anybody to do what they don't want to do it. So I don't feel like there is a threat in there because that's a choice. I am here participating and being here because I want it, not because you're telling me, Claudette, you need to be here every Friday, that I really enjoy it. <laughs> but you're not threatening me because if uh, uh, you're not pushing anybody. So we have an open mind and we have to feel um, that those emotions and feelings that we are doing. Sometimes we do wrong things because it's the human to make mistakes. And, uh, and we want to discover more things. We want to see what's going on. So what the drama here for me in my way of thinking is like to be in another group, in a subgroup, uh, is like, I want to discover something, what's going on there. But that they didn't do it for wrong. They didn't want to do that. 
And that's what I think. And that is my drama, that just thinking like that way. But that's, James, is affecting you because I can see that here we are discovering very beautiful part that is not about learning English. It's something more like that. It's like center and feeling because I was just reading you in, uh, I don't remember what place in the, I think uh, the chat or discover or, um, that we have to feel the body and sometimes we feel with that emotion. And sometimes we want just to have those feelings and we want to understand, but it's not the other person. We want to understand ourselves, mm -hmm. feeling the body and participating and bringing something beautiful in the platform. And you're doing a great job. I want to uh, give you the, th be thankful to you because I see that the part I wanted to participate in, and I was not reading that summarize, joining, and then anyone else. And that is very beautiful, but that's a lot of work. That concentrates a lot of work. Sometimes we are not aware of doing that because uh, that requires a training. And that's what you're doing, uh, everyday May training. I call that? May I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's a little bit more explanation. Um, I want to, and it's a join on you, I think. I, I don't think anybody on that list did anything wrong. Shafani, Nelly, Nani, nobody did, Nargiz, they didn't do anything wrong. I am working on my role as space master to do that as best as I can. And I see it, you know, it's a kind of responsibility, like a traffic officer. If I say really loud in somebody's face, stop. It's because I don't want you to get hit by a moving truck. And I am, you know, I'm, I, I have not been able to get uh, on the same page with a couple of members about what's going on. So, okay, you, you don't, they don't have to understand because I can't force anyone to understand what I'm doing, but I'm, you know, changing the light. I'm closing the door in or out. And then it's not forever. People are not like being banned forever. If, if that is not what they like, if that's a problem, we, we can reset and try again in September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that happens to me when I was uh, uh, like, I can see like um, my role as a member and I want to participate. I want to join other people that they are doing the work already. And for me, I was just like cut. I was kicked out and I said, oh my God. And then I started to feel in my drama there and I just wanted to talk. I want to chat and I want to say, okay, I feel this emotion and what's going on in this part. But then I just calm down and relax. And I said, that is my drama. It's nobody else drama. So I have to check out with myself inside. Why am I acting and thinking and reacting? Sometimes we do it so fast. And um, I, that's what I was just going to thank you for that. Because checking about stopping, is like in a real classroom. The teacher says, okay, quiet, please. But there are certain words that we, uh, like adult people, like me, I would not like to say, oh, I didn't ask you to come here. I didn't ask you to say like that. It's like that authority of that part, like Mokhtar, he mentioned that, that is something like really affect me. No, okay, I don't know the rest of the people, but that really affects me in my way of trying to control myself. And that is one part that I says, what's going on? Where am I? Am I in the right place that I want just to participate here? Or I have to discover something new inside me. I have just to say, what is affecting? Why am I not moving? Why am I not advancing as I want to? And um, well, that's it. Back to the group. Uh, I don't have a coin with two faces. I only have one face and I want to show it here. <laughs> Back to the group. This is Mukhtar from Tunisia. I'd like to react to the role of maybe the head teacher here or the master. And I see James, you're likening it to the traffic. I'd, li I'd liken it to like blocking the stream of a river 
and you and you want water to just stop there water wouldn't stop there water would flood somewhere else if you want water to go smoothly you have to keep streams i mean uh, keep routes for the water to to run you can't just block it and stop that it's not like you know you're going to prevent people not to get in front of a truck it's like you're you're stopping you're blocking water that's, what, yes. that's how i Mokhtar, see it. Yes, yes i am i am blocking water that's right but when you block water Mokhtar, it will flood somewhere else so we have and, a disagreement and you should blame yourself in this case not I'm, the water that's that's what I'm doing. I'm take, taking it's total responsibility for me, uh, right? I'm not blaming Shifani or Nargis or, or Nani or Nelly. Uh, I'm taking up the responsibility for being the space master. What I see here, you say uh, they, uh, I mean, uh, um... I mean, well, 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 it's true. I'm making observations about people sharing information in two spaces. So yeah. that's that's not me blaming anybody. I'm just saying. Now, now, it sounds like maybe you're blaming me. You're saying that the reason that somebody shares outside is because I'm not giving enough opportunity here to share. Great. Now, that, you can have that opinion. I disagree with you, but you can have that opinion that the can reason I, people are going outside is because I am, uh, am not giving them something that they want here. And it may be true. I, 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 I join you in that it is unethical to uh, no, that's speak not about. A no, no, okay, no. that's what. That's how. That's my word, not yours. Yeah. That it is unethical to speak about someone else in their back. Um, that's unethical. That's how I see it. However, however, as a master here, you should create a space for people to no. say no, this. No, I shouldn't. No, uh, to say this in front <laughs> no. of you. Excuse is, me, I mean, but no. You're telling me what I should do, fine. Okay, you can tell me, I'm telling you I'm not going to, I don't wanna do that. Uh, I do a certain amount, I create a certain amount of space. And then if people want to use, if, if people want to use that as, as, as an excuse to leave, I, that's what I would call acting on a feeling rather than just saying, you know, James, I'm frustrated with you. I want you to do a class every day on biology and medicine, and I want me to be the only person in that class. And if you don't do that, I'm going to, you know, share pictures of you that I've drawn of you kissing other animals. I mean, people will do anything it, rather than saying, well, you know, I'm just frustrated that you have not done what I want. And I'm telling you, Mukhtar, you're, you're saying to me, well, James, just, you're actually, because you're actually saying like, do what they want, appease them, even if you don't want to. You're not saying that? Well, no, it's no. Like to me, you are. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm telling saying, you, I don't want you. I'm I'm creating a certain amount of space here for people to talk, and you're saying more. They they, they need more space, more place, more more. They, satisfy them. No, no, no. Otherwise, they will leave. And I'm saying, no. They can be unsatisfied and be here, both. But, but James, you created. You no. created. You no. Convicted. No, Mokhtar. I want you to hear me now. I want you to tell me what I just said. Well. Or I want somebody to. You might not be able to because we're in different, we're in totally different places right now, Mokhtar. May I summarize you? Please. Is that okay, Mokhtar? Yeah, fine. Please, Fatima. Um, okay, it's a lot of thought and speech, but uh, I agree with James. Not Can you blindly. tell me what I said before you agree? Before, yeah. before you agree or disagree, I'm saying, what did I say? Okay, <laughs> sure. You're saying that you are, uh, you as a head teacher and a space master, you are responsible to block any hole that's open to the other spaces and may share, may, it might um, probably share some. Uh, information from our group, some techniques, something that that you don't like to share out of the group, and it's natural to happen. It's not a matter of nothing uh, enough space in our group because there are a lot of chance chance and a lot of channels that people can write whatever they want. It's not a matter of 
fear, it's not a matter of nothing. But it's so natural. If I'm in two groups, it happened that I may, uh, convey some information from this group to that group, and it's Fatima? not wrong. Fatima, yes. may, may I just correct you a little bit? Just a little bit. Sure. Yes. This is a public group. It's not about keeping the information private at all. It's a public group. So the, the information yeah. inside the group goes everywhere. If that's not what I'm trying to plug. It's that yeah. when a it's that when a person, it's when a person comes to me and says, mm -hmm. I want to be a member in your group. And then I say to them, Great, would you talk about your experience of being a member in here? And then I see they don't do that, but they do it elsewhere. They're angry. They don't understand something. So they leave. Then I'm just trying to get on the same page. Actually, they don't want to be a member. They say they want to be a member, but they don't want to be a member because they're, they're doing something which is what I consider uh, not member activity, which is bringing things that they have here and bringing it somewhere else. So it's not about protecting, keeping the information in the group. It's a public group, but it's about getting clear about membership. Yes. Um, I forgot, wait. Um, yes, it's uh, not about sharing all of the information. We, we share information on YouTube and everywhere. It's not about information, you mean? but it's about the membership that some people, they don't join, they actually don't join the game. They don't play the joining game correctly. They don't really um, join the group because they don't feel themselves a member of this group uh, when they share, when they're participating in, that, in the other group and share some information maybe. And it makes sense for me for a board of directors to support this group rather than other members, um, because you can block this hole as long as you are aware of people who participate in other groups, but maybe there are lots of groups and um, we are, you are not aware of that. Uh, but for board of director, it makes sense that stay in this group and not joining, uh, not join, I, I don't mean joining other groups, but um, sharing information and not feeling comfortable to talk in this group, to talk about their satisfaction and not and dissatisfaction and bring that in the other group and share somewhere else. Uh, I think it makes sense for me to, for you to block this hole and care about yourself and your authority and whatever, um, maybe it doesn't, ma it doesn't need for me any explanation. Any explanation is uh, completely clear that you, in your role, you're doing your, your responsibility, whatever you should do, you are doing. Uh, back to the group. Last minute, and then we're going to open up to the public. I'd like to say, and this is, I mean, my last remark is if I were in Chifani's group, I wouldn't leave it because you, you know, because you asked me to do that. I mean, I see this is part of my independence. And can yeah. You, can you join Fatima? Um, um, I'm joining the opposite side of Fatima. Then can you ask, off. can you join me? See, this is the thing. It has nothing to do with Shafani's group. The question is, you, you're not joining me as chair right now. You're, you're just doing whatever you want. You bring in your disagreement. You don't summarize. You're actually not getting on board with my program right now. So it has nothing to do with Shafani's group. It has everything to do with you and me working together, Mokhtar. I mean, uh, this is what uh, this is the way you see it. I mean, for me, what it I is see the way is I see it. it. For, yeah, this is for me. What is important? Does what I see is, matter, is, or are you just going to do whatever you want as the board of director? That's uh, right. Is is this a is this a meeting, or is this just Mokhtar's complaining session? And I don't mean to belittle you. This is no, something I, that happens. You see it happening in the group all the time. 
the people in the joining game channel, right? There's 10 people who said, I hate the joining game. I hate summarizing. You're totally with them. You're not yeah, alone. alone. You're yeah. not alone. You're not alone. However, mm -hmm. however, that's a red light, green light. I'm trying to get from you, Mukhtar. Do you actually want to work with me or not? Because you're telling me, yeah, I want to work with you. And then you fight me every step of the way. And so I want to be clear when somebody does that, I, I'm i going to try to separate, like either get over to the red side or uh, okay. either get over to the green side. Don't okay. tell me, James, I support you totally, but I not going to do anything you say. Uh, okay. It doesn't okay. make any sense. And I'm going over to the public now. So opening it, keep going, Mukhtar, but it's open to, to, to anybody. Right. Uh, um, it's one, 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 the idea here is that I don't see the board of directors meeting as a joining game. For me, it's totally different. I, I, actually, I don't like the joining game. I don't, I don't like the summarizing, joining, checking or whatever. This is not, I mean, uh, I see other things, uh, I mean, um, better for me in the group. The, the, the board of directors meeting for me is not a joining game. Um, I don't see myself obliged to summarize people, then check with them. It's fine if I do them. Mukhtar, from time to time. Yeah. Mukhtar that's fine. You can, you can hate what I'm doing. You can not like the joining game. Yeah. You can, Mukhtar, you can, you can want me to do things completely differently. I haven't sent I haven't I haven't sent you away. But what is the difference between being here and working with me and being here and constantly opposing everything I do? Do you want me to be the chair or not? Do you want me to be the space master or not? You're a member of the board of directors and all I hear from you right now is I don't want you to do what you're doing and and yet you're here. So what what is going on between you and me? That's what I'm talking about which is a role lock. Um, uh, um, for me I'm, I I can't give just green cards for I mean to for people to do I mean say Can okay, you tell fine. me what I said? Can you t ever ever yeah. once tell me what yeah. I said? You 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 said or is, that or is uh, it just going to be uh, that a, a constant the... stream of Mukhtar disagreeing with me? No, this is not the case. I'm not always disagreeing with you, James. It happens. It has happened. I mean, it has happened. You're doing times. it right now. That, do you see Nelly laughing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing That's that. why she's laughing. It's because even, even the idea that we're disagreeing, you're constantly telling me that we're not disagreeing. That's how you, that's how you try your best to... to Red light, uh, green light. To, Red to present light, it as green light. Choose one or the other. I mean, uh, I'd like to play game when I, to agree to agree on the on the rules of the game before playing it, and um, and I don't see that playing the game uh, with the rules of like in the joining game. That's not my game. I can't play it that way. Say anyone else? Anyone else? Haha! <laughs> Tricked him. No, it's fine. I'm not talking <laughs> against it. I mean. Uh, I mean, there are, there, there's You're telling me you don't want to play the joining game. There's then you do exactly, and then you say anyone else. That's there's the joining. Comments, there's comments you don't know what the rules are. You have a, not you, okay. Mukhtar, again, don't take it personally that we're arguing. I, I can see that you're not. You're smiling and that's great. And it, it, it's the group, the entire group is playing out their discomfort with me being the leader and with me doing this weird thing called the joining game through you. You're just, you're kind of like the group's puppet right now. And you- I'm you... not, no, I'm not a puppet. <laughs> I'm not a puppet at all. I'm not, yeah. I, I, don't mean, I don't mean, yeah. I don't mean, I don't mean that in any, uh, you know, negative sense at all. We we do the we 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 sometimes cannot see the larger picture, and so we're kind of like floating on the water of the group. The, there's waves going on, on up and down in the group, and as the board member who tends to disagree with me a lot, 
you are playing out the role of disagreement because not everyone can disagree with me personally. Not, every, not everybody has the interest or the stamina or the social position to play out that disagreement with me. They're doing it through you and, and the group is learning about it through you. So don't take it just personally. You know what's my dream, James? You are our boys. <laughs> and my, dream is, my dream is that one day, I mean, maybe for, for a week, that things go smoothly. I mean, for the whole group. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not a guy of conflicts. I, I'm totally the opposite. But I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm natural. That's what, I mean, I can't just admit things if I'm inside, I'm not comfortable. Great. I would, I would never want you to. Thank you. I would never want you to. Say anyone else. Anyone else? This is Samira from Libya. Rama and then Amira. Uh, Rama. Thank you, Board of Directors. Uh, this has been an amazing meeting. And I'd love to pass on a dissatisfaction, a strong one. I feel that as members here, be it teachers or participants, if we cannot defend our space, then we are giving the backstabbers the opportunity to go on with whatever they're doing out there. So you can be wherever you want to be, but know your stand, know your role, know what you have to say. You should filter information. I find that some members here are selling us out and not looking at the growth of the group. And this is very disappointing, especially to some people, they know themselves here. So let's learn to be neutral and truthful and honest. Anyone else? Mira. Mm, this is Amira. Yeah. Um, yesterday we, I talk, okay. Yesterday I uh, talked about uh, this type uh, how to dealing as a member inside the group, and um, always I uh, I uh, hear from James. I'm a leader, and uh, as a leader, you have uh, members of a board director, and uh, you are right about our group. No uh, specific information get out uh, this group because the the group maybe uh, sometimes uh, with time loss of uh, value and loss of uh, good person to participate to uh, get benefit to others. Uh, for me, um, I see this is the very, uh, very good uh, meeting because everyone uh, explore what how feeling and uh, what is the disagreement. And I see um, I see um, sometimes, uh, yeah, as a maybe um, uh, still uh, not um, well qualified, uh, um, just only as a, uh, a student, uh, I can see uh, the whole uh, picture, maybe see just from point of uh, my view as a student. But, uh, you know, um, sometimes uh, you, um, you um, Sometimes, uh, James, you are very patient and uh, um, and hearing uh, what other said. But sometimes I see very aggressive. I, I, this is just only my opinion. But you know, um, both of way is good. Sometimes, yeah, should be like this and that uh, to uh, to grow up uh, to um, our uh, groups. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, this is Aripi speaking from Bangladesh. Yeah, two months before I joined in this group, and I say, when the first time I joined in this group, I said you that you are my first native speaker, which I am, which I was talking. And after that, I find I found uh, so many uh, uh, learning sector. I found and. I joined two or three learning sector for two or three days. There are full of native speaker. I mean, 
there are uh, minimum 20, 30 number of native speakers they're teaching on this sector. But you are only one native speaker controlling the whole group and on other group uh, controlled by 30 or 40 number of native speaker. Even though I like, uh, I have to, if I truly speaking, I have to give your group number one because you're controlling, how the way you're controlling the group and you men are, uh, you manage all the team, it really amazed me. And that the reason uh, when first day I talk and give explanation myself, that time my word was not enough because uh, on that time I was beginner level. Now I am in intermediate level only because of in the, in your group. I get more, more I get, I got most benefited from your group because this learning sector amazed me and it helps me uh, my learning all perspectives. Yeah, I think this is, and yeah, for this, I want to thank you and thank you for all group and board of director as well as, okay. Now, now I just want to point something out. Thank you, Arif Islam. So you're bringing in the very supportive of James's leadership subgroup. And we've heard that, you know, we've heard, we hear that, you know, Nelly and you and Claudette, Fatima, uh, Amira, not com not a hundred percent, but there's some, there's some strong support. The reason that I'm in a roll lock with Mokhtar is because the group is struggling to get that other voice in, the voice that says, well, uh, you know, James, um, you're too aggressive or you're too rude or you, you're, uh, you're not giving people the opportunities they want or the joining game uh, is too repetitive or the, all of these things that people have criticisms about for whatever reason, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's still not coming into the group to the same extent that the support for me is coming in. So, I mean, in a way I, I'm with Mukhtar, I'm uh, suspicious. You know, when, when I hear very strong support of me, and it's not just recently. I mean, this the, the this voice of concern has been getting louder, and that's a sign that the group is progressing. If you were here five months ago, people like Nani and other people, you know, said this is the best group, and there's nothing wrong with it. And I knew right then. I said, "Oh, oh we shall see." And we are seeing, and it's really, it, it is a benefit to the group if it can continue to talk about the things that they don't like without leaving and saying, well, I give up, right? Because then that's exactly how that information does not get integrated into the group. And it kind of creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where the group then continues to do those things that those people didn't like. So if, you're gonna want to have the change. You have to find a way like some people are doing, maybe through Mukhtar and others, Shifani and saying, well, you know what, hold on. What, is this the, really the thing that we want? Yeah, James is good and all, but so just not, not to say it's right or wrong, but to have that, have space for the disagreement to come in. And I know last week or maybe two weeks ago, that was what people said about Mukhtar. They said, you know, we, he's so essential because he's the voice of disagreement. He's able to stand up against me and disagree with me. And it gives people a model for doing that if they want to. You don't have to. So uh, I just, that's why I'm just, I'm just pointing out that there are the, these, that's what it is. That's what the work I do. It's these, you have two subgroups and you, they work, they're both important. We want to make space for both of them, just not at the same time. Back to you. This is Nelly. Yeah, Nelly or me. Go ahead, Nelly. Okay. Okay. Um, I'd like to join the disappointed subgroup. Um, I have taken up a couple of tasks for the group as treasurer teacher coordinator, schedule poster. <laughs> and um, I've been working on Discord and those channels where I've been working are closed. And I can't figure out how to put that information in the joining game. 
uh, channel. Um, and I would like to continue working. I, I, I think I would like to pass on some of that work, but I would also want to do that not in the joining game channel. So, and I want that work to be done <laughs> and not just paused forever indeterminately. And we don't have a, a um, finish time for when this reduction of text spaces is going to stop and which spaces are going to be accessible again. I, for my, <laughs> I want my channels back, like probably everyone, <laughs> the students who want to learn grammar, they want their English grammar in, in practice channel back. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm heading that. Anyone else? <laughs> May I speak? Uh, I see this meeting as an uh, as an example, a real joining game. Uh, it's not all about summarizing and repeating someone. It, the purpose of joining game is apart from being a game. It's uh, joining each other. And in this meeting. I observed that it initially maybe started with discussion or argument and disagreement, but at the end, eventually, uh, which we get to the agreement, we might, not necessarily, but this space is open for agreement and disagreement, and that's great. Uh, uh, all the members can join this meeting. It's public, uh, everyone can talk against or for every no one is forced to say something if i'm agree with this plan i hardly agree i accept it um, i accept it as it is not uh, is it wrong or it is wrong i don't judge it by my opinion it's not uh, my idea that this way of leading is true or wrong i, I don't say that i just accept what I'm seeing, what I'm observing in this group. What is it? This is what is it, I think, uh, what it is. And um, without asking why, because if I ask why, I don't get any, I don't reach anywhere. I don't get any, any answer. And if I get answer, it doesn't persuade me maybe. Maybe that re those reasons that given to me, it's not based on whatever I want. So I accept. If I'm in this group, and if I accept this person as a head teacher, and he wants to do something for joining this game, we have to join each other. Uh, and this agreement welcome as well. Uh, we can hear all discussion, disagreement, and maybe it change. Finally, maybe this decision change and go somewhere else. And uh, but uh, we just uh, sharing whatever we think it's true or mm, different opinion as Mokhtar is, mm, has disagreement. I agree with you as well, Mokhtar. I defend your right for being disagreement in this group, for discussion, for uh, disagreement. And um, I can agree with uh, James. Uh, with his idea. And it doesn't mean that I have two faces. No, this is my opinion. I think I can accept agreement and disagreement. I can see the reality as it is uh, without asking why, without uh, or, mm, any requirement for explanation, because it doesn't make sense for me to ask explanation from people. 
uh, even in my real life. And it, it works for me. Back to the group. Thank you. Um, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. I've heard you saying, Fatima, that it is, it's destiny. No, and, uh, destiny? What's yeah, destiny? destiny? No. And that we can change anything about it. No, 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 it, no. It's just, just I, I don't think that. That things will change no, sometime. No, in no. The no, 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 never. It's not, I don't mean that at all. I see the reality as it is. It doesn't mean it's destiny. If, for example, if I agree with James from my uh, heart, my opinion, I disagree with him openly. But in this case, I agree with him. Really, I agree with him. And um, it doesn't mean that because he is the head teacher, that's why I agree with him. No. Uh, I can have sometimes, I, I said in joining game channel that I hate summarizing, I hate repeating, and I really don't like it. It's difficult for me. It doesn't make sense for me. I like to start uh, saying whatever I want, I want to say, but in some, uh, but I don't mean that it's wrong or right. I believe that it's true, it's good. When people do it, I enjoy. When, uh, for example, Nargis give a great summary, I enjoy it, I love it. But for me, my feeling is that I, I don't like it. And it's a, real, it's a reality. It's what it is. And I don't, uh, I don't want to resist in front of my feeling. Uh, I know it's right, it's great to, to summarize and join, but I don't like it. And um, again, it's related to this meeting, this joining game, and not a game, a reality actually, uh, that we are uh, gathering here to join each other as a board of directors. Um, but not definitely we are, we are agreement in every uh, point. And it's, it's great, it's amazing. I don't like the group that all people are agree, uh, agree to each other. It's beautiful to see some disagreement and some agreement and we can accept the reality as it is. It's not about destiny. <laughs> Thank you, back to the group. So there's a seven minutes left and I wanna see if anyone from the silent subgroup would like to speak, people who have not yet spoken in this meeting. Frida, Ari, Rosa, Shafani, Amans, Satish, Juan, Uzma, Nani, Mohammed. I'd like to speak. Go ahead, Shifani. So I'm a member here in this group as a native speaker of English. And I've been doing a lot of work for the group and for myself in those channels. I'm also a teacher in another group in Telegram. And some of the members here are members in that group. So I just wanted to clarify that that's the state of events right now. And also regarding this whole thing about um, what James is saying about the leak, I understand the logic of it. I understand that um, even though James is like rude sometimes and uh, difficult for me to listen to sometimes. Uh, what he's saying, there's some logic to it that if people are not working through what's going on in the group, in the group space, and they are discussing it somewhere else instead, then it's kind of like a split that's happening uh, in terms of the work that the group is doing. It's getting diluted, I think. I think that that's, that can happen if, if some of the work that's supposed to be discussed in the group goes out, then it reduces the efficiency of growing the group. And I feel like if those issues are discussed inside and then that's kind of made secure, through a group effort, then there'll be better growth. So I understand the logic of it. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Anyone else? Other people from the silent subgroup. Well, there's four minutes left. So if you haven't yet spoken and you're in the sound subgroup, you can bring it in as a surprise or learning. So for everyone, surprises, learnings, lightning round is four minutes. Um, I have a surprise. Um, actually, actually, I'd like to speak to Shifani. Shifani has invited people to her group. She has even created a space for people to speak about this group. So she's saying that, well, I can understand that this is wrong. I mean, who? I'm surprised, actually. I mean, let's, you, you, yeah. Let's leave it there. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Brahma. You have a surprise or learning? I have. Uh, it is a surprise indeed because, um, Shifani, I'm talking directly to you. If well, you're saying. People, actually, now's not the time to talk directly to people, really. You, um, allow me just drop a bomb, just a little. Drop, just allow you to drop a bomb at the yeah, end of the yeah, group. Just a little. I'd actually, yeah. I'd rather, rather than just dropping a bomb at the end of the group, would mm -hmm. you, I, it might be difficult, but could you bring in a surprise or learning and, and stay with the, the group as tempting as it is to drop a bomb? Okay. I'm surprised by, by the fact that a person understands the logic, but again, you know, plays the clown, right? Don't like take you this personally, say, Shifani. No, not personal, but let's be honest. I mean, if you're... I don't see why you would use the term people and yet you are the subject here trying to play a clown, all right? Um, that's really a surprise to me. Sorry, Shifani, I had to. All right. Others. This is Anira. Yes. Um, I have a statified um, because um, this meeting happened and all of tension uh, relieve all of uh, thing um, all, all of the people uh, bring out uh, what uh, they're feeling. Hmm. Anyone else? For me, also surprise is the same as Mukhtar. Shifani is talking is a surprise for me. What he's saying is uh, different from what he's doing. Uh, hmm. Whatever I notice is hmm. some gap and it's a surprise for me really. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm satisfied with um, gaining more understanding about what um, James's motivations are in as um, leader of the group and I see yeah I'm satisfied that not just I but also Shifani seems to have gained that information <laughs> yeah if we don't take what we're doing just personally we can come into the group talk about it even if we are the person doing it and we can learn about what we're doing and the group can learn about what we're doing through other people having the courage to come in like Shafani and say, I'm doing these two seemingly contradictory things. I wonder what's going on. When I talk about my role as the, you know, as the leader, uh, a more specific way to say it is that I, my job is to reduce noise and redu noise is not just the sound of a, a motorcycle. Noise has a technical definition, which, which is, which includes three things. Uh, and one of those three things is contradiction. And we don't always know if we're contradicting ourselves. I contradict myself. And if we talk about it, some of those contradictions rise to the surface. We can become aware of them. And then we have a choice and say, oh, I don't want to have the red light and green light on at the same time. I want to choose red light or green light. 
And on that, I'm going to end. It seems like a good place to end. Thank you, everybody. Great meeting. Happy to see everyone. Happy to have some disagreements as well. And uh, we'll continue next time. Bye, everyone. Happy weekend. Bye. Thank you, Jay. Enjoy the rest Thank of your you. day. Bye. Bye. Everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye.